Alrighty, All right. so Hop, Hop always hops on commentary. Yeah. Gotta love two minute no button intended. warmers, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, get to see him play today. Yeah, that's cool. And I know he plays a lot of characters, but I think he's been trying to go like all Falco for past little bit now. Yeah, I like his shirt. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's from anything or not, other than, you know, Melee. Uh, I can't even see what it says on it. It's Falco with some Japanese characters. Yeah, it says... Uh, Pita Kondo. Um, it says something. Yeah. Can you read Japanese? Yeah. That's yeah, cool. I minored in Japanese. Nice. For some reason, my middle school is like, you can take Spanish or you can take Japanese. <laughs> and the Japanese Dude, teacher was a bro, so... I'll take Japanese any day, man. Yeah, Watch anime really with no subtitles. Hashtag weeaboo. Uh... I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so we're heading into this battlefield first. It's pretty makes sense. Yeah. MDVA standard start on battlefield. It's just a standard cross all, especially yep. this matchup. You don't I mean stage choice is so important. Yeah, yeah. It's like I feel like for battlefield, the only thing that matters all that much is the ledges for spacey recoveries. Um, uh -huh. But generally speaking, it's pretty neutral. Yeah, I know. Like some people in. Uh, at least this is the way I thought about it in uh, Marth, uh, not Marth, sorry, Fox Falco. I actually didn't like playing uh, against Falco on it, but um, any particular reason? Yeah, just the platforms feel felt a little weird. Like they yeah. really helped yeah. uh, Falco a lot for it his combos. It benefits characters that have more vertical mobility, and Falco has the best vertical mobility. So yeah, and then the other thing I thought was that um, it didn't help Fox as much platform-wise, just because like the platforms are pretty long, so it's hard to up air tech yeah. chase sometimes. But uh. Yeah, that was just personal preference. But yeah. uh, Hop, ooh, and gets we got a really good start grab. from Hop. Yeah. yeah, just falls down and snags that got from some, him. Uh, some really interesting edge guard choices, but it all worked ooh, out. And the, the double shine double combos shine. calls yeah. him out for crouch canceling. Yeah. I'm liking this Falco so far. So uh, Mars looking a little bit confused. I uh, got the up smash in neutral, probably a mistake. Um, definitely a little bit behind right now. Oh, oh no. no! But Hop Clear, throws going that stock for the away. laser, but gets the classic Falco side B. Yep. Dies. And uh, he seems to be singing along with uh, his music, doing the Hungry Box. Yeah, he's feeling so, himself. Yeah, yeah, it's good, dude. It means you're confident, right? Ooh, oh, goes for the, out the taunt. The taunt way too he late. To show who's Probably could have come down from the platform and hit him with it. That yeah. would have been hilarious. But uh, he's feeling confident. And uh, he's starting to pick up. Uh, Jake's missing, I think, most of his, if not all of his text right now. So... Hop can kind of just go for free follow-ups, and yeah, he's happy Jeez, to trade stocks. He's, he's got a lead. He's styling on this guy. Yeah, he's shaking his head. He's feeling in the music room. Yep. Ooh. Man, it's looking like yeah, a he's starting to, he's starting to just right go now. in. I yep. thought he was going to go for Shine Shine. That would have been cool. Oh, no. It gets grabbed here. Yeah. Yeah, and Jake's it going seems for like a lot Jake's of... Jake's really trying to get those F smashes. Kind of hungry for him. Yeah, he's just trying um, to punish the tech in place. Um, yep. Forward throw, forward smash is definitely a, a mainstay at... Uh, you know, low levels of play. And so I he's feel like a really important a part kill. of using F smash effectively as a Marth player is to trick up their DI by using other moves too. So that when you do get your F smash, they DI badly and just kind of die. Yeah. So. All right, yeah, but first take, game going to hop. Yeah, probably take FD off of uh, the stage choice here. Yep. Against the Marth. It. Just uh, take so much uncertainty out of it. Because, I mean, even if a Marth doesn't have the chain grabs, they can still get tech chases and stuff, and yep. it's, it's scary. You just don't want to play on it as yeah. spacey. So instead, we see the Marth counterpick to Dreamland, which is definitely yeah, that's against unorthodox. the... Uh, yeah, that's a good way of saying it. It's not orthodox. Um, Marth really struggles on Dreamland because it's a bigger stage, so he has more trouble killing. But beyond that, he also can't forward smash on the platforms. Uh, the wall sometimes makes it a little hard to edge guard on space he's riding up. And I feel like up air tech chasing on platforms is a really important part of continuing Marth's Ooh, combo gets game. The, uh, he's going for those uh, reverse auto cancel back airs there, kind of West Balls esque uh, combos here. But um, yeah, actually, I definitely do see the West Balls influence now that you mention it. A lot of like going in hard, approaching lasers. Oh no, Fish oh. is way too hard for that back yeah. air. He's got to be a little more patient it's there. That B just sends him to his death. And Jake's kind of struggling with his dash dance. He's uh, dashes a little too far and he gets stuck in that awkward turnaround animation. Oh, yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah. yeah. So he's getting he's getting punished for that and then definitely could work Ooh. on his dash dance a little bit. Gets the quick dash uh, out of the laser though. Avoids yeah. just getting stuck in shield. That's we good. We got these uh, crazy Falco combos from Hop. Gets the crouch cancel down tilt Nair. Oh. Couldn't follow it up. Ooh, and does a reverse laser away from Jake. Yeah, I noticed that. I think he's uh, maybe oh. has a bit of a controller issue. I guess the side B spike. You think that was uh, on purpose? Trying to style or just kind of jumped out I there? I think he was just trying outs. to recover and uh, Jake was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. yeah. Bates the forward smash that runs in with shield. That's actually a really good bait on uh, Marth especially. I feel like it works very well just because Marth's so 
reliant on spacing at the edge mm -hmm. of his sword. So if you run in, you can often get shield grabs or just easy out of shield punishes. Definitely. Gets the back air there. Oh, yeah, this is looking really solid for Hop. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely questioning the stage choice from Jake here. And Hop's feeling confident. He's got one more stock here. Oh, just yeah. walks up and grabs him out of the dash dance. Seemed like he was kind of just doing the uh, the fast back and forth dash dance, not really changing it up very much. It's yeah. good of Jake to call that out. And now he's got Hop in an awkward spot. Oh, I thought he took his double jump, but... Ooh. And up he's really early there. I think he could have just drifted back onto the stage, but doesn't get punished. Yeah. And... I mean, one or more. Yeah, there oh, you go. Forward yep, tilt that's it. to down air. All right, and I'm actually going to go play my set on stream now. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Maybe get back on. You heard it from the man himself. Playing on stream right here, right now. Be kind. Be kind. I'll try. <laughs> so we got Quist coming up and playing now. Looks like he's going... Is he going Marth? Yeah, I think he's going Marth. I know he mained uh, Peach and Sheik for a while, so he might be switching things up after Super Smash Con. Be interesting to see. Man. Definitely a weird Xanadu. I feel like a lot of people after Super Smash Con now... Uh, just a little tired, a little burnt out, especially after a major. Some people are taking a break, but uh, the Xanadu regulars, they're all here. Oh, we got somebody else having on the commentary here. Oh. Uh. There we go. What's up? I think you're muted right now. All right, you're good to go. All right, cool. The ace of Flakes himself. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got this kid that we were playing against earlier. Quist. Quist. I guess he's playing Puff. Actually, I think he's going Marth. Oh, no. I was excited. Dude. I came on just to talk about Puff. You can still talk about Puff. Won't be relevant, but you can no. talk about Puff if you want. Puff's not like that interesting of a topic. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'm interested. I can talk about <laughs> all day, but I mean, you're wearing the shirt for it too. I am. Under what does it even say? Under arrest. Oh, ha ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> you're killing it. All right. What, so, quist? Yes, quist. I wonder what that means. I guess it's as good as mine. We'll have to ask Matt to send. Do you know the other guy's name? I do not, but it looks like Vegerot. Vegerot. All right, so we got some creative creative types here. We'll see if that translates into their play. Yeah, so we got Marth Fox and Quist, I think. He used to play um, Peach, and he definitely played solid. Sheik, too. So um, he might be going through a switch right now, as I said a little earlier. But um, starting off pretty solid already uh, with the strike to Yoshi's. As Fox, I actually love striking to Yoshi's over, like, Battlefield against Marth. Um, I just prefer that. Ooh, gets the quick shine to shine. All right, and so both of them just came out with this really good hard punish game. Yeah. Um, we'll see if that continues. Drops the chain grab opportunity there. Um, that should be a lot of damage. Now here by the edge. Ooh, goes for the down tilt there. That's a... Right. Uh, it worked out for him, but that's normally the situation where you see Marth go for the jab to jab to hit him out of side B. Yeah. Well, it worked out. Already hanging a little too close to the ledge, but it's a quick reversal now. Um, good crouch cancel there, though. Prevented the up tilt from kind of launching him for a combo. And you know, um, I, we'll see if this translates into later, but it looked like after his up throw, he just kind of threw out that uh, up tilt automatically without trying yeah. to read where the guy was yeah. going to roll or tech. Yeah. I only played Marth for a little bit, but what I prefer to do with like kind of like those mid percents where it's like prime juggling percent against Fox is just short hop and wait for the tech and then follow with the up air. The falling right. up air was... Just really good at um, kind of covering everything on reaction. Speaking of reaction, good edge guard there. The uh, stall, and then you stand on the ledge, and you can actually react to Marth landing on stage with an up smash. Um, and that's just such a powerful kill option on oh. this stage. That was close. If he shined, it could have been over. All right, let's see. All right, good coverage right yeah, there. Yeah, you're right. He's kind of just reacting. Not, a, not reacting. He's just throwing out the up tilt right after the up throw, kind of hoping for the follow-up. Well, particularly on the platform. Yeah. Uh, when he's right underneath it at low percent, but... All right, good grab. Yeah, oh, throws up the up air too early there. Um, Marth can reach that top platform in a short hop, but you can usually full hop and just cover more options that way. Fortunately, though, 
the combo game is kind of the easiest thing to fix in the yeah. game. Um, so if he can pull together uh, his combos after the up throws, he yeah. can really do some damage. And something I've noticed here is that Quiz is actually kind of struggling with um, DIing the shine properly. Not necessarily DIing, but he gets sent off the stage by the shine. So I was going to say a shine to shine could end it, but uh, Quiz cleans it up, takes the first game. Yeah, they both showed that they have the capability of ending the stocks, mm -hmm. each other's stocks at least, very quickly. I don't know if that's due to their own prowess or if the defensive tech and DI options yeah. weren't there. But either way, solid. It's a good game. Yeah. So probably going to see him ban at least Dreamland. That's what I would think. Um, might see go back to Yoshi's, maybe even Pokemon. Yeah, Marf doesn't like Dreamland, right? Yeah, he hates Dreamland. Goes to Battlefield. Can't go wrong with the pick, honestly. Everybody's pretty comfortable here. Um, gets down tilted twice in a row, and now the combos start. And something I've noticed is I don't know how confident Vegerod is in his uh, shine follow-ups. It, it looks like he doesn't exactly know them against Marth. You can't actually shine and then walk up. You have to shine and then dash at them. And then you can do an up, you know, uh, up dash canceled or jump canceled up smash or jump canceled grab. But that he's kind of just walking towards him. Is extremely hard to hit though. Yeah. That's, it's also hard to, when you hit that shine, unless you're expecting to do it, and wave dash almost prematurely out of it in the direction that they're going, it's, it makes it very difficult to follow. Yeah, that's very true. All right, so I'm a huge fan of Fox just going out there to hit Marth, or at least scare him away so he has to up you to the, the ledge. I... When I at least when I played Fox, that was the exact opposite of what I did. I would just sit on the ledge and up uh, ledge stall with up B. I was nervous; I would always get gimped. So I'm not. I don't have that fear. Uh, it might be <laughs> a smarter option to do what you're yeah. doing. Oh, avoids the counter though. That was a good up B. Um, can't get the follow up off of the drill. Um, maybe you should have opted for an up air there. Just get the kill because Marth is at a high enough percent now where up air, back air, and up smash will all kill. But ooh, goes low for the edge guard oh, and, and makes Fox. it back. Yo, Fox is dumb. Fox is a dumb character. Well, maybe. Gets the good juggle there. Ooh, stops oh, the side beautiful. B. Oh, Great shine. Yeah, that's, that's a very really smart shine. Nice. You'd be surprised. Sometimes mashing shine just out of the air can really interrupt a lot of juggles. Ooh, goes straight for him with the up B. Now, no I gotta, fear. I got to say, Vi uh, Vigorot? Vigorot? Um, he has some good defensive options, it looks like. Uh, I think that's where he's kind of winning the game, is that he's making it a little harder to kill yeah. him. He just got Chris. a crouch cancel shine there at the low percent. That's a very powerful tool. Yeah. But I think offensively, he's just dropping his opportunity. Not necessarily well, dropping, he's but he's just... I don't know if he knows the best combo options against Marth in particular. No, I know that I said at the beginning of the game, he, was, he got a couple quick qu quick kills, but his, that was either the hardest read in game or... He was just getting shine, and then uh, the Marth uh, oh, quest, okay. he would fall off the stage. He wouldn't snap to the edge, so then he'd just jump off and shine him again. But he hasn't but been able to land game. those same shines, yeah. His combo game is not, he's not yeah. hitting him that hard. Though. Yeah, he needs to kind of uh, work on his uh, shine follow-ups and throw follow-ups. Those are where Fox gets pretty much all of his mileage. Yeah, you can definitely juggle Marth quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of grabs, actually. I haven't seen yeah. a lot of grabs. Of, I don't think he's actually rock. gone for a grab. Like, at all. Quist looks like he's starting to shield quite a bit. He might have recognized that. Yeah, because even though Fox has great shield pressure, I mean, Fox's throw is just such a threat. You want to make people at least respect that you can go for up throw up air and kill them. Guess the up smash on the missed dash attack there. That's a good punish there. And so we're down to stock of one. Just needs this edge guard to close it out. Yeah, that's the kind of area where, once again, you got to look for that jab jab. Um, as soon as Marth shuts down that side B, Fox's options are a lot more limited, but... Quiz cleans it up with the walk-up forward smash. And that's it. That's two -oh. And that jab-jab is so good because you get to stay on the ground rather than jumping and actually committing to... And it covers the short, and it's so good. Yeah, it's, it's so good. good. Definitely a smart move. And then you can, like, down tilt if they try to sweet spot or something like that. Actually, if they, like, do, like, the, the sickest sweet spot with side B, you have to run off in forward air. Even the down tilt misses. Yeah, if you, like, shorten yeah. sweet spot. I know KJH in particular is, like, really okay. good at that. All right, I got to play. Good luck, man. Thank you. We can play. Abandoned once again. Left all by my lonesome here. But we actually, Hop, who was playing, I think, not in the last match, but the last match before that, is now up against Plank. So, definitely a higher ranked player in MDVA. 
and we'll see how this goes. Going to see Hops Falco again. Um, I know he plays a lot of characters, like I said earlier, but he's definitely, I think, trying to solo main at this point with Falco, and that's a strong choice. Falco's a really good character. Don't believe all the haters. He's still good. Meanwhile, Blank's warming up. He's doing some uh, dashing shield drops. Those are really cool to see. Uh, he's doing the buffered shield drop, too, which is, like, the quickest one you can do. I think you have to, like, run, hold down, and then press L, and you just drop through instantly. Pretty cool tech. Yo, is that guy sure? He's wearing a shirt. You can see it a little bit in the background. It says, I main Pichu. What a guy. Nobody mains Pichu. That's crazy. Nobody but that one guy from Pittsburgh. If you guys want to see a funny video, look up the modded Pichu combo video. That down tilt is like a combination of Marth's down tilt with the angle of Shine Spike. It's a crazy move. That character was busted. So we're starting up already. Um, already a couple input flubs though from Plank. He's getting stuck on the platform and he almost, oh my gosh, two forward smashes. Yeah, he can't be happy with that. And Hops jumped out to a pretty decent lead here, but Hops by the ledge now and that's the Falco danger zone. Never want to be close by the ledge against Sheik. Because one throw could just end the stock right there. But Hop's doing a good job. He's playing very patient when Plank's by the ledge. And gets the punish there. Forward smash is a pretty good punish there. Um, no real threat of a kill there, but, I mean, you take the guaranteed percent. And Hop's got a huge lead. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And Plank's starting up his grab tech chases here. Misses the first one, though. Uh, Wake Up Shine is just such a powerful option. Ooh, spot dodge is an entire down... Yeah, you could even see Plank kind of reeled back from that. Never seen that before, but that's pretty crazy. So Hop cleans it up with a forward smash, and... Oh, Plank was looking for that roll there, but... Unable to punish completely, and... Hops jumps out to a very solid lead here. He's already got, you know, 40%, which is a pretty good margin to set for yourself if you want to, you know, build up a lead. Just get, like, 40% on the next stock, and you're in a good position. Gets the up tilt. Oh, that was sick. And he's outspacing the dash attack, some of Plank's options. He's playing very slow, but very patient neutral. He's not getting caught by a lot of Plank's usual kind of traps. Gets the forward smash jab grab. Very interesting. Ooh. Doesn't punish the side B, but if I was Plank, I'd already be taking note that Hop likes to recover high, and usually with side B. And Plank's really having a lot of trouble finishing this stock off. Ooh, just down airs out of shield. But Plank finally cleans that up with a down smash. And we'll see now if he can kind of work his way towards, you know, getting rid of this lead here from Hop. But Hop's playing solid. He's um he hasn't really overextended or gotten like punished for anything he's doing yet. He's just playing very slow and patient, making uh Plank make the first mistake. Back air should seal it here. He's just gotta grab the ledge and repeat over and over again. Oh no. Plank gets a little bit of a mix up there. And actually, Wake Dash is back and grabs. Oh no. Oh, and Hop steals the ledge. Yeah, Hop's been recovering high, and Plank hasn't exactly caught on to it yet. Um, might see him make some adjustments later, but as of right now, he hasn't really been able to get those quick gimps on Falco that Cheeks are kind of known for. Ooh, gets the wave land on grab. Plank is, um, at least from my experience playing him, I'd say he's the master of getting grabs in that kind of second option area. He doesn't get the initial dash dance grab all the time, but he's very good at catching on to people's defensive habits, whether they like to overshield or roll or spot dodge, and he gets the grab then is when he's more of a specialty. But while I'm saying this, gets the very bad DI on the forward smash. And oh no, misses the short hop down air punish. The high dare on shield there from Hop, punished by Plank with the Nair out of shield. A lot of characters can actually punish Falco and Fox. If they hit on the top half of your shield, you can usually get a shield grab or a quick uh, option out of shield, like shine out of shield. Um, definitely got to punish spaces when their pressure isn't safe. So Hop's just standing mid-stage, doesn't want anything to do with Plank right now. Just shoots a bunch of the lasers, makes Plank pretty uncomfortable. Ford throws him off there. Back air should seal the deal there. He does not have a jump, so all he needs to do is grab ledge and roll on. There we go, and Plank is down now. One stock here, game one. But he gets the quick grab here. Goes for the down throw, wants the guaranteed tech chase instead of the 50-50 uh, off stage. But um, not able to punish the wake-up shine there. And 
Hop, I mean, Hop's just playing solid. He hasn't gotten any big combos, really, but he's just playing, you know, death by a thousand lasers, death by a thousand back airs, and it's working out pretty well for him so far. He does have the lead, but Plank is storming back right now. Gets the needles down there and comes down and forward airs him. So Hop's got one stock now to kind of take this match and put up a lead. Gets the down air, but... Oh no, and there you see Plank kind of catching on to the defensive habits there. Um, but goes for the forward tilt to too low of a percent. Falco is able to crouch cancel that tool around 40. Gets on and down smashes. That should be it if he just rolls here. He gives himself a fist bump. He's pumped. Takes game one. So now we'll see where the game goes for game two. This will be interesting. Goes right back to Battlefield, the salty run back. And we saw Plank kind of catch on a little bit there to the end of the defensive habits, but right as I mentioned that, he goes for a grab too soon, gets spot dot shined, and then Hop just walks into his zone and down airs him. Yeah, Plank's clearly uncomfortable here. He um, kind of does thrive on people's aggression, so sometimes, you know, if you play a little more patient, you find your openings. Over shields there and actually gets grabbed. Um, and now he's by the ledge, but... Honestly, Hop's making the ledge look like a good position. He's doing a very good job. He edge hogs him there, but he's doing a very good job of just edge hogging and uh, putting on a lot of pressure while he's in the corner. Um, you saw last game, he just kind of did eight lasers in place and Plank clearly got very frustrated. Then he just walked up and grabbed. Um, but Plank's getting the tech chase here. Waveland's on there for the reaction dash attack. Up air off the top and he is dead. So Plank's starting to come alive now, um, shake off the cobwebs a little bit, but gets the Nair there, he's just kind of feeling him out, can't really get too big of a punish off any of his pokes yet, because Falco's at that range where, oh, gets the laser reset, but Falco's at um, too low of a percent really to start anything, now he um, is kind of able to get punished a lot harder, now that Plank's put him out of that crouch cancel range, but the instant side B goes and kills him, Plank giving a little bit of a laugh, but uh, if I were him, I'd be a little upset that that happened. That's always like the worst way to die. <laughs> but gets the up air to forward air, and we got an even game here. And Plank's kind of hopping around the platforms, doesn't really want to get locked down by lasers like that. Um, he's kind of struggling and is out of shield against it. Um, he spot dodged there. I think that was supposed to be a wave dash out of shield, but he's kind of struggling against Hop's laser game. Ooh, reads the forward smash there, and can't really get too big of a punish. Like I said, Hop's been recovering high, but Plank has not really been able to punish very effectively as of yet. DI's in on that down throw, so if Plank's able to get another forward tilt, uh, extend his combo, but unable to finish it now. Hop's got Plank in a very bad situation by the ledge, high percent. Ooh. I love when Sheik's go for the down tilt. I think down tilt's such a cool move. But Plank has a lead now, and all of a sudden, he's starting to take control now. Just needs to build a little bit of percent here and uh, kind of maintain that lead in case Hop does take a stock. And Hop's kind of mis mixing up his techs. Um, he's definitely teched in place a decent amount, but he techs away there and he's able to get the spot dot shine. Oh no. That's definitely happened a few times where he's kind of gone from the top platform down with lasers uh, the wrong way, but. He, the worst, though, is that he falls off the stage and Plank punishes him there. Rising Nair hits him out of the up B, and he gets gimped. Takes him to Dreamland. Now, this is an interesting counterpick because Dreamland is definitely one of Sheik's favorite stages in the matchup. Um, and Hop did have the option of taking him to either Yoshi's, FD, or Pokemon, depending on what he wanted to go or what Plank banned. But... Uh, stage pick is always a matter of preference, so maybe he's just more comfortable on Dreamland here. He has been doing a very good job of kind of keeping away against Plank. Gets the roll there with a shine, unable to follow up. And maybe that extra space will just kind of help him play his defensive game against Plank. Although, it looks like Plank's starting to catch on a little bit here. Um, does have a lead right now, although... Ooh, calls the back air out of shield. He dashes away to bait it and then comes right back in with a dash attack. Pops him up for a kill. Hop just catching his breath. Um, this is a position I've been in a couple times too where you're up against a ranked player and all you can think about is beating him. And then all of a sudden, for the first time in the set, they have a big lead. And you just want to, oh no. Just want to catch yourself. Um, stay in the moment instead of kind of thinking about what happens if I win, what happens if I lose. Hop has an edge guard opportunity here. Goes for down smash there. Um, 
unable to kill. Uh, Plank still had a pretty good percent. Maybe he could have crossed up and sent him back off stage, but that would have been a harder punish. Just take the guaranteed damage. Reads another roll from Plank. He's been doing a good job of that. Catches him with a back air. Um, gets stuck in shine, so he's unable to follow there for more shield pressure, but that's all right. Gets the laser nair. Just an edgehog into forward smash. Oh, a little late on the punish there. Oh, and I don't know if it's a controller issue or an input issue, but he seems to be getting a lot of those uh, backwards-facing lasers, and that's something you hate to see. Um, Plank's also definitely trying to challenge the shield pressure a little bit too much. Maybe like to see a little bit more rolls or wave dash out from him. It seems like he kind of shields the initial aerial from Hop, but then kind of jumps out too early and gets shined. So Hop takes the stock here, but he is down by a significant margin. Um, Gets the forward throw, or down throw, into down throw, re-grab. And with that back throw... Top is in a very bad position, but he's doing a good job fighting his way out of the corner. Uh, unfortunately, there gets clipped by the forward tilt, and with just one tech read, it's a down air, forward air, and that's it. So now Hop has a huge uh, margin to make up here. And does a good job baiting uh, Plank off the top platform there, but pushes him away on the nair, so the shine is actually grabbable there. Getting a good follow-up here, though. But he gets another one of those reverse lasers. Um, still continuing the pressure, though, against Plank. He's doing a good job of that. Um, even though he's not continuing the combo maybe as much as he can, he's doing a good job of not overextending when he does drop, and he's just putting more pressure on Plank and forcing more errors that create more combos. Um, Plank baits the down air out of shield there, wave dashes back with the down smash to catch it. And pl something Plank's been doing a lot now is he kind of hits the shield and then wave dashes back. Uh, he knows Hop kind of likes to aerial out of shield. So he's been doing a good job of just kind of taking that one step back, watch Hop jump, and then punish him. But Hop's getting it. Oh, that's unfortunate. He had the read on the tech in place, but the shine misses. And... Ooh, I thought he was going to go for a forward smash. There we go. He gets the forward smash there, and now he just needs to edge hug. Zelda does give him a little bit more distance, but he just gets back on and forward smashes. Oh no, with that get up, yeah. Over 100%, that get up's a lot more unsafe. And Zelda just pulls out the down smash. Very, very quick move, sends him off stage. And that's the match. So Plank, with a little bit of a scare, loses game one, but comes back and takes the set. Alrighty, I got I got a hop off commentary. Oh, should I play on stream? Alright, sure, I'll play on stream. So uh, I'm going to hop off commentary and play on stream. I'll uh, probably see you guys later, though. Peace. I lied stream. I'm back. The stream set up, uh, yeah, at Barracuda SSBM. So I lied. Ace of Flakes, being the scumbag he is, hears me say I want to play on stream, jumps on stream to play Zoma, but not just kidding. So this will actually be very interesting to watch because I know on Monday I was actually at the cave and Zoma was there as well. He beat me very badly. It's on stream if you want to go back and watch the VODs. It's pretty funny. But Zoma lost two sets to Aglet, actually. And he does go Fox, unfortunately, for everybody who wanted to watch Me Too. He does go Fox against Puff. And I think Watch was saying that he actually goes Fox in only two matchups. It's Ice Climbers and Puff. Makes sense. I feel like Me Too wouldn't have many answers for Jigglypuff doing a bunch of back airs. He doesn't really have any moves that poke in front of him. So instead, he goes for the counter pick, picks Fox. And we got my man Hop. Hopping on commentary. How many times have you heard that before? Uh, uh, many, many times. Yo, what is up with this stream? Ooh, whoa. Yeah, a little, little loud. My bad. What is up with it? So we are seeing uh, Zoma versus uh, Ace of Flakes. Yeah, and you actually. Now, I was just talking about uh, Zoma ahead. on Monday. Oh playing yeah. Playing against Aglet, and you actually commentated that set. I did. Uh, and I'm gonna do my best to focus less on Zoma today and a little bit more on the puff, just because I didn't do give the puff enough credit. Yeah. Aglet 
one of his first lo I don't know if it's his first local, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised, right? Uh, you know, he's a he's a strong player in our region, but mm -hmm. there are a lot of strong, very strong Fox players in our region, and they're pretty familiar with the Jigglypuff matchup. Yeah. So we're going to be seeing uh, Zoma from Japan. Uh, primarily oh, plays they, Mewtwo, but are they just going into it right after the hand warmer? I don't know. I I guess so. Oh, I guess so. That is an interesting approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ace of Flakes, being the scumbag he is, wants to run down the time a little. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but uh, Ace of Flakes is actually one of the more aggressive puffs I've seen. So I'm going to be sure, interested. Sure. It's going to be interesting to see yeah. how he kind of approaches and Fox. It, it's actually been MDVA has been going through a lot of good stuff recently, um, especially after this past SmashCon. We're seeing a lot of players who hadn't been playing uh, a lot start to come back or start to like go back on the grind. Right? Yeah. I was talking to Plank outside, and he said he was really motivated. <laughs> Uh, nice bear from um, Zoma. Uh, from Zoma right there. Rocking but the hop tag. What a, what a god. Ooh, oh, but nice no. edge guard right there from Aglet. Yeah, Knows that uh, it's Ace pretty of safe. Flakes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still in the cave mode. Yeah. Uh, my bad. So, um, yeah, I like to see Puffs go out there without the candle, right? Because yeah. they can get so much from that, and it's not a high risk for them because they have so many jumps. Yeah, and something you saw that um, Ace of Flakes did there right there to start the punish, actually, mm. is he does a lot of tomahawks. He's a right, very pressure-heavy right. pu pu uh, yeah, puff, so he'll go in and empty hop, up tilt, mm. empty hop, grab, and he loves mm. to shield pressure with puff, yeah. and up tilt's very good at catching people. It shield pokes, and it leads into rest right away. Absolutely. So. so one thing that's sort of interesting right now is it's almost sort of just like hanging out in the, hanging out in the corners mm -hmm. and giving Ace all of the space he sort of needs. He's giving him center. But he is shooting those lasers, right? Yeah. I was talking to um, the guy I drove up here with, actually. And we were talking about how it's sort of like he plays the neutral a little bit by me like Mewtwo King, but his punishes, they, he can do some pretty Mango-esque punishes. Yeah. Um, he did a really sick punish at the cave where he had him on a platform, did three nares in a row. Yo, but he did get rest? Gets the empty up grab there. Um, mm, the tomahawk? Yeah, but... I don't know, from what it seems, it seems like Zoma, he's kind of content to give Puff all the space mm -hmm. he needs, but Ace of Flakes isn't exactly, I know I, I said he's aggressive, but he's still pretty hesitant to put, uh, approach Ooh. overall, so um, there's been a lot of laser damage to this set already. Oh gets yeah. the double. He's going to get something? Oh, Ooh. good stuff from Ace right there. Yeah, so Zoma DI'd dead. in on that first back air. You have to DI away, otherwise you get uh, the automatic second back yeah. air. And also, also what you should know about with the, with the wall of pain is um, you should smash DI and ASDI it up. Mm -hmm. Because that will get you out of the uh, the uh, like uh, puffs puffs jumps mm -hmm. uh, get smaller and smaller, um, so she has to stay like pretty pretty uh, horizontal to be able to do the wall of pain. So if you SDI up, you get out of it. Mm -hmm. Then you can mix up out of it. Yeah. So we just see Zoma. He's just very content. Goes in with a full hop nair though. Mm -hmm. I'm a little surprised that didn't get punished, but wow. goes for jab up smash. And Fox just has so many kill options on Puff. He has jab up smash down air into jab up smash down air into grab. <laughs> Oh, is that up? Oh, oh no. no. So let's see what he goes for. He might just go for up smash. Oh, no. Uh, Messes up there. Maybe that was just a next level punish. Maybe yeah. Zoma was thinking that Ace of Flakes would do something that knew, none of us knew about. Yeah, when I was going through my 20XX phase with Fox, my favorite rest punish as Fox was just laser, obviously, to build the damage, and then mm. up tilt back air. Yeah, yeah, I see so a lot of... Hard, so hard for Puff to DI out of, Oof. and it's just so much damage. Fox racks up damage yeah. so fast, so... That just that can get him up to like a kill percent with up throw up air. Absolutely, absolutely. But Zoma takes so, game one. Real quickly too. Um, you know, we're not seeing either of these players, you know, like chill out too much. They're both, you know, Zoma's lasering for damage but then going right in. Mm -hmm. Seeing the Fountain of Dreams counter pick. I've seen Ace destroy people many times on this stage. Yeah, he does love this stage. And it's just a puff stage in general, yeah. uh, especially two out of three where they take Dreamland off the table, presumably. Yeah, yeah. So one thing that should be noted about Ace is that uh, he gets a lot of movement reads over like over time as he plays. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was playing him in a money match once, also a sick conversion by Zoma. Right <laughs> but um, I was playing him once, and uh, he noticed that I ran through a lot, so he just rested me once. Yeah, yeah. He uh, He's the king of rest setups. But unfortunately, he hasn't really been able to land any this uh, set. So he's doing a good job of just hitting his text when he needs to and not really getting grabbed. He's He's been put in some awkward positions, but mm. not long enough where he's been able to get grabbed. Goes for the yeah. Nair auto cancel grab there, though. And Soma just gets out of there. Does not want anything to do with Puff near the ledge. What I would like to see from um, uh, Ace of Flakes right now, actually, is uh, Zoma's going, putting himself into the corner a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to see uh, Ace sort of you know, just holding his position a little bit and trying to make uh, Zoma do stuff. Mm -hmm. Stay close enough that he can punish the laser maybe with an air or something. Yeah. But uh, just 
be patient. Let it. Let him. Let him try to do something. Yeah. The problem is like in that position though that you have to make that difficult yeah, yeah, choice because yeah. if you get too close, then you get nared, and that's why Fox really just does so well because Puff has to come in, has to stop him from lasering. Or oh else wow. He can just get killed super early like that. I wonder what uh what Ace was doing there. I saw him just sit on the sit on the ground for a second. Yeah, and he didn't look too happy with that. But Zoma, oh, gets the uh, held down there, falls up right off the platform into oh. a grab ledge. And yeah, I mean, from what I from what I've seen of Zoma's Zoma's playing is that uh, he primarily uses his fox just for Jigglypuff. Yeah. So uh, it seems to me that he's very well versed in this matchup. Yeah, he, uh -huh. he's a specialist with his fox in this matchup. Um, yeah. I've, I have seen him play fox in like a Japanese tournament against other opponents, but. Mm. He might have just been going Fox, and his experience is showing right now. He's about to four stock Ace of yeah. Flakes. Oh, gets Nair. Oh, Nair. my God. That was Zoma sick. running a train. No, now on it's just Ace one of right now. That's, oh, that's it's it. over. That's it. Wow. That was impressive from Zoma oh. right there. Oh, snap. Impressive. Well, on that note, I got to go play on stream. So. Good luck, Barracuda, and congratulations Thanks. on third at the cave oh, thank on you. Monday. All righty. Bye, stream. Yo, Kyle. Oh, true. Actually, I should play some pipe. Captain Falcon. What up? All right. This is uh, Pinophobia and Guac. How's it going? Um, so who is the Fox player? I know Falcon is Barracuda. Uh, I'm not sure. Indy. Indy. Okay. Gotcha. Indy Dave. Okay. Indy Dave. Gotcha. I think I played with him a couple, I don't know, a couple of Xanadus ago. But. So you might have some uh, commentary bias, right? So uh, yeah, so Barracuda, the Falcon, is my brother, so I'll try to keep it unbiased here. But. Yeah. So he uh, just recently switched back to Falcon, right? Yeah, so he um, switched to Fox, but that did not last very long. So yeah. I don't know, he realized his Falcon was always uh, a better character, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just went through that crisis. Yeah. I think sometimes it, it helps uh, playing different characters. Yeah, like definitely. Puts you in a different mindset. He came to Xanadu and he's like, yeah, I'm going to play Fox the entire time. And then he Deep. lost game one and got taken to FD against Marth and was like, oh, this is actually a lot harder than it looks yeah. like. So, um, and then he had some good wins with his Falcon and just started playing better, even though he wasn't practicing. Yeah, so. I actually caught the uh, the tail end of the cave. Yeah, there. yeah. So, okay. Uh, Getting into it. Yeah. So Fox, Falcon, definitely... Um, Fox favorite, I guess. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just the consensus, I guess. Yeah, when you get caught in those uh, tech chase situations, it can mm -hmm. be pretty easy to do those repetitive patterns and panic. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Wow, okay, nice recovery. Nice for forward throw. Interesting. I'm always surprised when that tilt works. It seems like the forward tilt? Yeah, it's yeah. Just, the startup is so slow. But. I guess that's good coverage there. Yeah, Falcon's tilts, or at least up tilt, can uh, work pretty well for edge guards sometimes. Yeah, they're all like bad versions of Samus' tilts, but <laughs> I guess that's Yeah, it's pretty work. like, it's Ooh, a niche okay. scenario. Oh my, oh my god. god. Another one? Holy oh, crap. Oh, okay. Probably could have just opened it either. <laughs> he, he wanted more. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's one of those situations. You miss one tech and then you end up missing like four more yeah. right after it. It's like the same thing as the uh, L cancel thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Where it's like, or uh, yeah. If you like spam it, you'll like never get it. Uh -huh. Oh, oh my! Okay, okay. he's he's yeah, feeling yeah, it. Yeah. I've seen him try that a lot, and like it <laughs> usually doesn't work. It's just when he's kind of feeling confident. Oh. So you read the no tech or tech place? All right, Indy Dave, last stock. He's really got a something together here. He hasn't really had any good punishes yet. Yeah, so. he's just getting rushed down. Seems like every time he gets out of the um, tech situations, he's just spot dodging or sure, yeah. rolling or something, shielding. Yeah, I don't think he's gotten a grab either. Nice. All right, I'll do it. Definitely a clean game from Barracuda. Starting off strong. All right, so. Yeah, so on Monday, he beat uh, Dahl, right? Yeah, he beat Dahl 3-0. Played the best I've ever seen. It was, it was pretty impressive. Wow, that's sick. Yeah. OK. Yes, Yoshi's a good pick. OK. It's already going a lot better for any day. Yeah. Here very clean stock, no damage taken. Oh, oh okay. that's the worst. Any days smiling and all. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he can keep his composure. I feel like some people like tend to rush in uh, after the SD. Yeah, they, like, yeah. Just want to get their composure just yeah. disappear. A lot of spacey sets they'll have at least one of those per set. Sure. You gotta be able to come back from that. Gonna slow him read, but he gets me coming back down. About the double jump. Good tech chase. See the edge guard. Oh, he could get shine. No. Oh. I think he meant to shine back here. It's definitely going a lot better this game. Yeah, I feel like um most Despite of that suicide, he's still uh, yeah close. I feel like most of any Dave's hits though, like they're they aren't really extended combos. Yeah, or just kind of punch games. Yeah, just hitting them here and there. Yeah, I thought he was gonna fall down with the knee for a second. Okay. This is the angle. That would have been a hard one to get. Last stock. Oh, I missed the tech again. It's just a lot of these techs. Just really liking oh, those good stomp tech. reads. Yeah, I missed the punish on that whiff rep juice. Oh, shine. oh that's okay. it, yeah. All right. Fox. It's a couple good yeah. shines. Yeah, you can never, never sleep on Fox, no matter how big your lead is. Oh, oh there it is again. There it is, dude. Oh, OK. Doesn't grab ledge. Wow. Could have been it. But still firing back. So nice job. We got the read, just yeah. space that knee. Oh, nice fair. We have ourselves a game now. Yeah. Oh, drill? Oh. Starting to move. Yeah. Oh, nice. Another one? Oh, oh I thought he was going to really death back. back. Oh, this is it, though. Uh, oh, no, dude. Just no, and that's it. Oh, I thought he. Okay. Oh, man. That's a heartbreaker. Yeah. Any day, definitely could have had that game at least. But uh, Barracuda, definitely solid. Good stuff to him. He moves yeah. on. I don't have the bracket in front of me. I think uh, I think he plays Obi, and then gotcha. I play the winner of that. Speaking of that, I think I have to go play Hat. Um, but so you got one set. Yeah, I got my one set. Um, see if I pass off. Josh, you wanna hop on? I gotta play. Somebody? I'm hopping off, dude. Are you hopping off? I don't know. Dude, shout outs to uh, Japan for still being here. We have uh, Zoma and Watch here. Oh, we got Bones. Bones versus Watch. It's going to be Falco Ices. Ice 
What's good, Josh? Tell me what's up. Uh, your mic's off. That's what's up. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Logic. Logic. Turn his mic off. Okay, we're good. All right. We're good. We're good. So we got Bones versus uh, Watch, I think. He's from Japan. So are these Japan guys still here? Where's Amza? I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> they didn't want the free money? Yeah, I guess not. Why is too bad? He already, uh... Um, so it's always exciting to, to watch. Oh, yeah. You're telling me. <laughs> so I know how Zoma is. Now, how good is, is this guy? Watch. Uh, I honestly haven't seen Watch play at all. But... <laughs> so I have no idea. All right, well, we'll find out. He's a nice climbers player. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I they all play weird characters. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because I hear Zoma's like a... Plays Mewtwo. He's a Mewtwo. Yeah. Apparently not against Puff. Not against Wow. Or Yoshi. Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> he went Mewtwo last last Wednesday. <laughs> he didn't do it again. No. <laughs> did, did maybe it works in Japan. Nah. <laughs> I wish he played Mewtwo. But he was I actually really fun to watch last week when he was Mewtwo. Yeah. Mewtwo's an exciting character to see. I love how his combo looks. Like, the little the, the, the two-handed... Shadow, yeah, the claw, fist the of shadow claw, yeah, of forward air, right? Is what you're talking about? The forward air, yeah. yeah, yeah. That would have been easier to say. <laughs> All right, but we know bones. Everyone knows bones. Yeah, here at the Zen View. Got a new, new Falco. I've never seen him. <laughs> the intense. I want the intensity that bones brings. Oh, and just like that. Watch. All right. Well. What was a jab jab setup? Uh, I, mean, I didn't even see what happened so fast. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was like uh, I know Bones didn't have his double jump coming down, so I just kind of read off that. All right, well I was just about to say how Bones has played many mini games against the ten dude. Sure. Yeah. There's he's got exactly the same color and what he's doing. Yeah, the same color. He won't get confused. <laughs> Oh, up tilt, oh, yeah. No. Up tilt, grab is a Is that setup. an automatic? That looks smash diable. Maybe. I don't know. I've seen many a spacey get caught with that up tilt to grab, though. Okay. Well, this guy's got some rhythm. We know that much. Indeed, yeah. He means he might, might be a good dancer. That's step one. We know a little bit more about him. <laughs> There on the floor, dude. Now I wonder. I wonder where his name comes from. Watch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it like American or is there some Japanese significance to that word? Uh, it's I don't know. Because the wobble. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, oh, tick maybe. tock. I know a bunch of old. Uh, that's like, pretty yeah. genius. If that's what it's for, <laughs> I would. That would be amazing. I know a bunch of uh, StarCraft that, players. That seems a little, sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, Go a bunch ahead. of StarCraft players would just like pick a random English word. Like, uh, I don't know, like life and rain or something. But I don't know if that's what he did or... I don't Actually, know. Yeah, I think he, uh, speaks, he has pretty good English. I heard him on the... Uh, oh, does he? The cave uh, commentary. Yesterday. Well, that's impressive. I always wish I spoke another language. Yeah, same, dude. It's hard. I took French class and uh, say my Francais, same old base, dude. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty talented. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, I mean, anyways, Bones is kind of getting pooped yeah, on. Yeah, actually. Um, it's just surprising. Yeah. Because Bones is, is like one of the most technical players from NBA. And we see, you know. Indeed, yeah. He's, he's uh, definitely a favorite when it comes to Xanadu. Which means that I don't expect him to get grabbed from tech mistakes, which he hasn't. Which means that Watch really is kind of out, just out playing him. Yeah, straightforward so. in the neutral at least. Sure. Oh, beautiful forward smash! All right, let's see if he can fit it off. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's gonna take her out. That's the worst feeling when like Anna slow gets up off the ledge and you can't finish it. Yeah, anytime you have a lot of time like that and you don't kill Nana, it's bad. Oh. Look for a lot of up airs. Yeah, it looks like Watch is just kind of like... He's trying to just predict when Bones is going to throw out an attack and try to trade or up tilt, jab it. Sure. Just get that grab. 
All right, now you gotta. Crash cancel. Yep. It's and that's it. So hard to finish off ice is at high percent. Yeah. You have to be <laughs> so good at separating, not just separating them, but making sure that you are able to switch between targets effectively so that you're not getting hit. Because that's what ice climbers do sometimes. They they use their nana as bait. Sure. And then they just finish out that stock. Yeah. Especially if they're at low percent and it's like they can just crash cancel. Like honestly for Falco, I'm not sure what he has against Icy's crash cancel. Well, Shine. Yeah. Shine works beautifully. Sure. <laughs> I mean, like, I, down I feel air. Like approaching with Shine is going to be hard for Falco. Cool. Yeah, but I don't think down air is. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Down air should be. It should be okay. Should be right. I don't know this matchup at all. So. I don't. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I don't think that, like, Ice Climbers can just crouch cancel down air into a grab or anything like that. Sure, yeah. you know? So, wow. So he just went right up to his face. Bones has got to be better about those, those lasers. He's got space those better because clearly if he shoots too close, he's gonna he's gonna get the hammer. Yep. Ooh, all right, that's a beautiful punish. That's how Falco answers that. Yeah. I love that he uh, beat away from Nana. Oh, okay. My goodness, he just goes up and. Oh, not the SCI. Is that it? Yeah. It doesn't look like. You know what? I think Bones is not throwing out defensive options enough. It, it really feels like he's. Just getting walked up on the hit. But yeah, I definitely feel like. Wow. That punish game, pretty stellar so far. Alright. Down air? Okay, forward smash, right. that'll do the job nice, too. Nice. Yeah, that's definitely it. Alright, now this is really hard for Sopo. Oh, oh nice there, wow. Right, I think he's gonna even up the stock here. Yeah, yeah easy finish. I guess that probably works on, especially coming from high above, it, it probably covers like everything that side B can do. All right, there's that text I was talking about. He's not gonna get a free grab. Yeah. It's beautiful back pressure, and then now he's gonna go for Nana. That's nice. a beautiful uh, nice target oh, switch wow. too. Nana gets battlefield. <laughs> what the heck? That was weird. A very sloppy aerial coming down from Watch. Sure. That's kind of just one of those almost new desk uh, falling aerials, just a way that it hits. Bones reason, it. but it's gonna be an even game, one stock to one yeah. stock. Wave dash, uh, smash dash. Oh, okay, reads the side B. Oh, reads, reads it. Is that it? That's it. That's it. All right, if he finishes it, nice it's gonna be done. two over watch. I love the head bot. Look at this head bot. Yeah, dude. Oh, he's getting all into it. Wobble dee, wobble dee, wobble dee, wobble dee, wobble dee, wobble dee, wobble This has got to be all it, right. if he can get it. Yep. All right, watch. That would be an upset. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. That was uh, winner's quarters? Oh, yeah, I mean. Look at play size. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I mean. That's great. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, where uh, the Japanese players were seated, but it's like. It's tough to judge, Too you know? low. Yeah. Too low. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> well, I mean, unless... I mean, yeah. It's unless I was seated very low, which, you know, I I'm, apparently I, I deserved. Would, yeah. I would say you're <laughs> yeah. Seated, yeah. seated low, yeah. Um, Hell yeah. And Zoma was seated high. I don't know, but they, I mean... Is this Zoma Plank? What? Right, we, we might... This is a Zoma Plank? Oh, all right. We're seeing? I'm hoping for you too. Sheik uh, Mewtwo? You want to see that? I don't know, dude. All right. <laughs> oh, I got to play. Okay. All right, I probably have to play too. Soon. Oh shoot! I'm gonna be on stream. I get bodied on stream. So we're gonna see. Uh, I don't want to solo cast, dude. Why did I get on the couch? Come on, Logic. Jesus. So yeah, we got a Zoma plank. Probably Fox Cheek, I would guess, yeah. Oh no, oh okay, this is actually hype. This is actually sick. <laughs> I was uh, playing Zoma earlier today, like warming up, and uh, I asked him like, what, I said like, hey, what's, what's Mewtwo's like best matchup? And he said, uh, Bowser. 
I just thought that was hilarious. But uh, I think he said Sheik was like really hard, which I can definitely see. Also, Plank is like amazing at chain grabbing. I'm not sure, I actually don't know if uh, Sheik chain grabs me too, but I can definitely see it happening. But yeah, all right. We got it, dude. Me too, Sheik. I mean, I'm not sure how many Sheiks there are in Japan. Of course, there's Flash, but I don't think he plays much anymore. Uh, I'm trying to think of more. But yeah. So I'm gonna play a really patient style. I, I really like how he plays, actually. Wow. Oh my god. I'll smash coming down. Oh, okay. Alright, we got the technology. Alright. Zoma is like coming out way. Alright. Is reality gonna set in? Alright. This matchup definitely looks like a struggle. But. Let's see. Wow, I can't believe he chill grabbed that. Yeah, nice back air. Okay, that's it. Alright, Zoma gets the first stock. It's funny, uh, Plank used to... Apparently, I've heard stories of Plank, like, giving 10 to 1 odds against Blue Tears. Who he can chain grab, I'm not sure if... It looks like me to use two light to get chain grabbed. But still, the follow-ups are probably pretty... Pretty good. Me too with the, uh... Oh, wow, okay, yeah. Now, of course, Mewtwo can uh, extend his double jump with that, uh, just like doing an aerial at the right time makes him go higher. It's kind of weird. I don't know how it works, but it does. I'm glad it's in the game. Mewtwo definitely needs it. Oh, nice. Up there, up there. Oh. Yeah, I think down tilt is a really good move for Mewtwo. It sets up a lot of stuff. It's kind of like Roy's down tilt, I guess. Back air? Oh, uh, back air, that's probably gonna do it, yeah. Mewtwo's throws, of course, like really good. It's kind of like a 50 50 sometimes against some characters, where, whether you uh, back throw or up throw. So up throw kills, like, so early. Oh, snags it, and that's it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, over 100%. The animation's gonna be pretty long. So Zuma up. Plank can definitely bring this back though. Also, uh, like how Plank has the Japanese flag. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Plank is. Doing the stuff. Yeah, walling, out, walling, walling him out with fairs. I bet that'll do pretty well against me too. Oh, someone gets in though. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he didn't grab that edge. Zoma. Getting game one. Got some people. Can't see them, they're off screen, but a lot of people are watching the YouTube. Getting hype. Okay. Wow. Oh, Mewtwo spot dodge. So long. Okay, yeah. Uh, can't can't afford it down tilt when you're uh, when she's at that low percent. Yeah, Zoma's really tricky about his recoveries using up B. Oh, okay. I've seen him use it use disable a bunch. I still don't understand what its purpose is. I guess it's like just 
the box in front of him. Oh, nice. All right. Is that it? No. Two, two, two. Yeah, he's looking for down tilt fairy, I think. Or back air. Back throw? That's probably it, right? Oh, up throw. Okay, yeah. It's still going to do it. What's up, Sam? All right. Please. Please commentate, Sam. <laughs> I love Mitsu's teeter animation. He's just like chilling there. Huh? Uh, Soda? Back there? Uh, I'm good. I'm good for now. Nah, I'm good. Thanks, T. Oh, wow. Okay. Grabs the grab. Yeah, he has no landing lag. If she up these from that high, you have like no landing lag, I think. Alright, so Zoma's playing like really solid, dude. Are we gonna have a Japanese Grand Finals? Maybe. Down throw? Oh! I think I covered. I don't know. The Shadow Ball actually goes so slow. It's like tricky how slow it goes. And it also like bounces up and down like randomly. It's really weird. Me too sick. Down throw, fair. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I had like 120 or so down throw, up air, down throw, fair. Should kill. Me too is pretty late. And he falls pretty slow. Oh, down air. Oh, okay. He's going for the tech reads. Okay. Oh, the double poof. The dreaded double poof. Wow, was that up tilt? I can't believe how much that sent on. Alright, that grab worked. Yeah, the platform's gonna bail him out. There it is. I think that. Is that it? Back throw? Or up throw? Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's it. Wow, okay. Soma has a slight lead, but definitely doable again for Plank. Alright, that's it. One stock of peace. Down throw. Oh, okay. He's trying to tech chase. Right it never stays out for so long. It's so weird. Right, is he gonna do the side B? <laughs> okay. Uh. That's it. Yeah. Yep. All right. So one one. Hey, this is Hop. I'm joining Pinophobia on the mic right now what for up, game three of an exciting set. This is definitely a six set. Six set. We have Zoma the Mewtwo man on here versus uh, versus Plank the Sheik man. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say that he it was notable. He wasn't playing Fox against his character. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that can be a strong counter pick, right? That he just has that pocket Fox that's per so solid. Sure. Yeah, against Fox, you usually ban, you know, FD or Stadium. You might I leave that open. If, yeah, I wonder if, uh, you know, Plank wasn't considering this. Maybe uh, Plank even banned, like, FD or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I can see that. Didn't want him going to get those Mewtwo combos. So he just goes to Fox on Pokemon. Solid way to counter pick, I think. But Plank has so much more experience with this matchup than with Mewtwo. Yeah. Still, Zoma playing solid right now, just, you know, using the space that Pokemon gives him to laser. Yeah. And then going in when he needs to to combo flank. Yeah, Zoma plays a really, like, smart and patient box. It's really fun. Mm. No, like, honestly. Oh, okay. I, th I thought you were, you were making implications. No, no, no. no it's Zoma's a. Fox. No. Because, uh, like, I've played him in Yoshi Fox, like, a bunch. Mm -hmm. And it's like, he actually knows the matchup. I don't know. It's cool. 
Yeah, I mean, that seems like such a hard matchup to deal with, but Sheik Fox is no cakewalk either for Sheik. Sure, yeah. Um, Especially on this stage. Yeah. With really technical Foxes, I think it's kind of like a nightmare for Sheik. Uh, just because of, you know, the damage output that Fox just gets from one shine, from one grab, from anything. It's like a big deal. Just using that Nair as like a get off me tool. Rising up with it from the ledge. Not always the safest thing, but it's so big that you can just use it as get out of here, you know? This, uh, this... Uh, Plank opting for the back there to make sure they couldn't tech on the tree. Oh, But the tree making it a lot harder... Uh, for uh, Zoma to escape the deck case. Alright, so... And this is, uh, this is an important stock right here for Zoma. Because he needs to get Plank out of Crouch Cancel percent really quickly. Uh, yeah, so going down 3-1, to one, it's a... Uh, yeah, and Fox Sheik is dangerous. It's very dangerous, because Sheik only gets one grab, right? Sure. I know that you've played Sheik on and off. Uh, bit, yeah. While you play it, and I was wondering, like, what you think she should be looking for in this matchup? How she uh, should be approaching so Fox? So it's just oh, like no. at low percents, all you can do is like grab pretty much. You can grab, or you can like space a fair, but even even that is like sometimes if the Fox can like follow up. I don't know. I haven't played Chief Fox so much. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know if we've been seeing Zoma use crouch canceling too much to his advantage. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's just not used that much in Japan. I wouldn't be surprised uh, just with how different that scene is. Yeah, his style definitely seems like a, a runaway for, for a bit. For sure, runaway. Um, yeah. I mean, one thing to think about like, is. When he gets a hit, like. He, he, he goes ham. Yeah, he, he goes, he goes, he goes to super do. in. He knows exactly what to do. He also has, like, a lot of weird, interesting setups off the hit. I think they're really cool. Um. But one thing that I'm noticing that Zoma's doing is that he's sort of getting the opponent into the corner, but then sort of letting up his pressure to shoot more lasers, which I don't think may be the best idea for him, because he's not getting that much percent off of lasers, and he be getting so much more by keeping Sheik in the corner and pressuring her. It might be over. Okay, I think, yeah, Blink kind of read that side B. Oh, okay. He got one more chance. He needs to play. Yeah. He needs to play pretty perfectly right now, I think. Yeah, to be this able is to get out of pretty it. rough to come back from. Got to grab. Oh, da okay, yeah. Just looking kind of like greedy right now. Really wants to get something. Nice tech chase, though. Oh, I guess the bear. Okay, okay. Now something can happen here. That's a prayer, yeah, okay. Something can happen here. I mean, this character, this, this character Sheik, is so comboable that all. Oh, no. That's a fair, yeah. All Zoma Still, really needed was one hit. Yeah, well played from Zoma. I mean, it's impressive. He took the first game with Mewtwo, right? Yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah. I think uh, he got like a, a stock or two from Plank, kind of. Mm. Like, just like getting a quick up B. Right, of, right, just, right. Just like Konoma guard, but still, like, even game two after he adapted. Um, yeah, I mean, last game stock. Two was pretty, last pretty stock. Close. We got to play. All right, I got to go. Peace be nice. All right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. So did you prank me? No. Why? Why? I'll miss you, Peanut. Bye forever. I'll never see you again. Not like these. No. Yo, do you see a uh, paper tiger anywhere? Can you poke him and ask me what to commentate? Actually, yo, watch! Commentary? Yeah. You speak English fine. You did fine on Monday. Alright, I've got a special treat for you guys right now. We have uh, Japan's very own watch, the Ice Climbers, on with me. Nice on commentary. Nice um, and this is pretty exciting. So we're going to be seeing Hat and Guac play. Mm -hmm. Hat is uh, uh, on like the uh, upper, like lower teens, excuse me, of our PR, I think. Mm -hmm. um, very, very solid player, you know. He's taken sets from Hugs, mm -hmm. uh, from the best players, uh, and from the best players in MDVA too. Oh. But Hugs is probably the most notable one. Mm -hmm. And then we have Guac here as well. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, Guac had a pretty big win 
recently, or semi-recently, where he took a PR player out. I can't remember who it was, though. Looks like we're starting right off, right? It's not a handwarming. Uh. It's starts. Oh, okay. So he comes to grab. Nice damage. Yeah, and I mean, with this with this matchup, I think it's all about Samus sort of keeping uh, Sheik out and staying away, uh, staying away from the grab, right? Yeah. That's where so much of Sheik's damage is going to come from. Uh, Samus has such strong, such a strong projectile game mm -hmm. in this matchup that uh, it's really important just to zone Sheik out, keep her out of your space, yeah. and fire projectiles to harass her with them. Definitely. Mm. But nice read on that roll from uh, Hat there, perfectly positioned to cover it. Samus doesn't have the best options off a ledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he just uh, stood there, read it. Down smash where it changed the game, maybe. Mm. Samus. Yeah, cause that could get Sheik right off stage, right? Nice. Okay. That's a nice little combo from uh, from um, uh, Guac mm. right there. Good grab, though. Yeah. Guac looking to maybe see a uh, hat roll or something for the, with that grab. Ooh, it might be yeah. tech clubs. It might be tech clubs. Yeah. So how f how familiar are you with this matchup? Do you see this a lot in uh, Japan? Yeah, I see a lot. I used to see a lot. There was a nice Sheik player called Flash yes. and nice Simon's player called Nanashi. Playing used to be in the winners final or that kind of play. Yeah, high in the bracket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the high in the bracket in uh, high, this kind of high level things. Yeah, mm. it seems that Samus is really, really difficult to get damage, and she's getting mm. more bit easier than Samus. And yeah, the punish game seems pretty lopsided. Right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think. Oh, that's so that's so unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, one of the biggest things is like. Um, Samus gets a lot of a lot of her conversions from keeping people out, and then getting that crouch cancel down smash, yeah. getting that getting that combo into the uh, charge shot. Mm -hmm. Um, but she doesn't have to screw around with that, and yeah. her strongest option in this matchup probably grab. Yeah, grab beats crouch cancel mm -hmm. just completely. And the needle. Yeah, and the needle as well. That's yes, a very good point. Just harass from across the stage until he's at a crowd cancel percent. And can erase the charge shot, maximum charge shot. <laughs> this game is silly. Yeah. This game is very silly. Um, I'm liking the adaptation Guac's making with a little bit more projectiles, right? I think that, um, like, Hat has been, like, really comfortable just sitting in the center, st center and stuff and sort of, oh, oh no. Bad. Sitting in the center and just sort of walling uh, Guac out. Yeah. But I think that if he started to do those platform cancel missiles, right? He started to get the projectile wall up. Yeah. Harass him a little bit more, draw him in. He could start to get those those situations in his favor that he wants. Mm -hmm. Just use the shields and grab it or... Excuse me. Yeah. Well, one thing that I've noticed about uh, Samus is it, it seems like the character is pretty weak to run up shield, right? Yes. Just because of how slow the grab comes out. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Oh. Oh my God. That would have been so cool. Yeah. <laughs> that had potential. All I'm saying. Okay, so. Samus back on the ledge, gets grabbed for it. Seeing some needles right yeah, now, Genpei Samus. But he keeps nice uh, his grab. jump. Very important. Yes. Nice timing. Absolutely. We're seeing Hat just follow him around a lot right now, and I'm thinking that maybe Guac should try to turn that into his favor a little bit, right? Yes. Maybe he should respond with some of that run up shield himself, right? Ah, uh, he used the grab. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So, honestly, though, this doesn't seem as bad oh, as the first game so far, right? Mm -hmm. um, it seems like uh, Guac's on a more comfortable stage, the smaller smaller parts better. Yeah. And it seems to be keeping up with uh, Hat and Neutral a little bit better, but still the punish, like the, the Sheik's punish is so much greater than, uh, yeah. than Samus, it can be hard. Samus back on the ledge again, but oh, nice. nice. Was that nice aerial interrupt um, the on right there? Nice. Yeah. I think Samus aerial interrupted down smash right there, which is a really fast option. Mm -hmm. Gets it invincible. Gives it invincibility, right? Yeah, it's a key um, point for this game. Absolutely. I mean, if you can get Sheik to come and try to fight you on the ledge, right? Uh, which Hat has been doing a lot. Yeah. Um, I think that you can kind of like just get them with that, you know? Once you get Sheik off stage, it's going to be pretty easy to edge guard her. Oh, okay. He Is he it? getting it? Yeah, Yo, he's getting back. He got back. Nice. Let's go, Glock. Six, though. And he's dead. <laughs> Yo, at least he yeah. did it, though. At least he showed the stream it was possible. Mm -hmm. What he was capable of. Yeah. Oh, I tried to anti her with that up tilt right there. Oh, he oh, gets he the, grab, the grab, though. What does he get nice. off of it? Not much. Hat yeah. back on the offensive. It's difficult to grab, and it's difficult to 
have to grab to so. follow up. Yeah, follow up. things. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Guac in a difficult position right now. Yeah. But he uh, maneuvers around all of Hat's needles, all of his uh, projectiles. Oh, honey, he yeah. misses the grab. I think Guac's like one for five or one for six on grabs right now. Still, it, it's really feeling like his recovery is getting more ambiguous. Like, it's starting to to get a little better for him. Yeah. He's starting to figure some, some something out. Excuse me. Oh, so it's perfect. important to show the grab that if you don't use the grab, it's it's safe to use the shields. So yeah, you yeah. need a pressure to for the shields. So it, it it's, yeah. it's good. You definitely have to make them respect it, right? Mm -hmm. And he has a jump. No, yeah. but he does it again. Okay. Nice. Nice finishing. And he gets a second chance. That's an important. That's yeah. important. Still, one thing to worry about right now is he has no uh, grapple. Yeah. Unfortunately. Have to land in the ground. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. This seems like a pretty advantageous stage for uh, for Hat right now. He doesn't have to worry about the platform cancel missiles. Yeah. That platform on the right just came up though. This is something. Once again, it's it's almost like Guac's trying to react with his grab a little bit, and he's either being a little too slow, or you just can't do that with his character. Yeah. Grab on shield unsafe. So Plank's starting to challenge all aspects of uh, of Guac's pressure now. Not even letting him do the jabs, you know, the, the hug stuff, right? Yes. Jab on the shield. Ah, uh, nice. Gets him out of the bombs too. Nice stuff from Guac right there, though. Uh, Guac and Hat. Um, Hat really showing. His knowledge of the matchup. Yes. His ability to, you know, abuse Sheik's characteristics mm -hmm. uh, against um, against Samus, and you know, uh, just out punish um, the other people uh, in this region for the most I'm part. Just, I'm just gonna throw this out there. Hat was <laughs> so they accidentally played off stream, but Winter Quarters is supposed to be on stream, so he's like, we could play again if you want us to. I was like, hey, you're very confident. <laughs> you beat him already, and you're like, yeah, we can play again if we need to. Yo, you know he two owed him though. <laughs> the first, the first one was not, was not, was not good for your boy. Um, we did Mike have a question like, for you. Watch, um, your tag. What? Uh, I made a joke of the ice climber saying use the tag watch because of the, the wobble. Mm -hmm. and how the watch, the second hand goes tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, tick tock, tick tock. Is that um why you use nah, the tag? Nah, doesn't care. <laughs> oh, I tried. This um, is just a nickname. I don't oh know yeah. why everyone calls me Watch, but that's my nickname. Well, it must have come okay. from somewhere. Is I it from your name? No. No? I don't know. Do just you watch people? Do you wear a lot of watches? Actually, you don't have a watch no, on right I now. I don't have a watch, so. and I don't use <laughs> nobody a watch. Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. This is the great mystery of Xanadu tonight, <laughs> is what Watch's name actually means. My university's <laughs> friends just call me Watch. That, I don't know why. That's, that's interesting. My name doesn't have a W or anything. <laughs> <laughs> and they, do they say no watch reason. in English or do they say it in Japanese? They call it in Japanese. Okay. Wachi. Hmm? Wachi. Wachi. It's kind of different intonation, but I like this spelling. It's easy <laughs> to remember. <It's> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a similar reason why I have uh, my tag hop. Yeah, uh, it's, just, it's a very simple, very straightforward mm -hmm. tag, and it's easy to remember. So I'm pretty excited for what the set is coming up right now. Yoshi. Right? We're seeing Peanut Phobia, mm -hmm. probably in the top three Yoshis in the world. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. Um, Victor best Man. Yoshi in the East Coast for sure. Oh, uh, Emsa, huh. Emsa is the top, right? No, but he's in. But Peanut's in the top three. Mm -hmm. Probably. I'm, I'm just saying. I think Ams is so good. He has the top three spots for Yoshi. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he's kind let's, of different. Let's not sell <laughs> our our MDVA boy short. No, no, he's, Peanut's an amazing. He's player. the best American Yoshi. I got him there. Um, but real quick, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to us on Twitch, Facebook, Absolutely. Twitter, and YouTube. All of them ending in BG Boot Camp. Mm -hmm. If you got stacks, or somehow you managed to, you know, skip out on one of your McDonald's meals, drop a subscribe. It's four ninety nine a month. It can be canceled any time. You help support BG Boot Camp and all of its staff, and mm -hmm. you do not get slowed down in slow mode. And you also get access to all of these awesome emotes. Nice. Soylent, it is simple, nutritious, affordable food. It's a meal replacement. Um, I would put the link in the chat, but for whatever reason, it's not letting me type at the moment. So it's all good. But definitely check them out. Um, Soylent.com will bring you to them. I've had it. It tastes kind of like a better soy milk. Mm. Um, if you want to add a syrup to it, you can go for it. They do have multiple flavors. Um, but it does I give you all of your nutritional needs for that meal that you are indeed if you just choose to drink that. Mm -hmm. Um and PvP Live, eSports in your hands. They cover the news, the scores, the highlights, everything involving eSports, from Smash Brothers to Street Fighter to League, Dota, Overwatch. 
Uh, they, I don't even know if they have Pokemon Go, man. They might. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Competitive Pokemon Go. Who can catch them all the fastest? Dude? <laughs> they do interviews as well. They're definitely awesome. And both links are in the chat, so go ahead, click the link in the chat, and check them both out. Yeah, and I mean, these guys are, you know, really helping Xander do out. Uh, but you guys, the viewers, can help us out even more. Um, you know, Xanadu is really the heart and soul of MDVA when it comes to tournaments. Um, and, uh, you know, we get the most viewership here for our tournaments. We get uh, a lot a lot of players, sometimes the most players here for our tournaments. It's really the heart of the Melee scene. So if you could subscribe, if you could donate, do anything to help out this, uh, this, uh, this organization, you'd be helping MDVA and you'd be helping out Smash, the Smash scene as a whole. So, we're going to be getting Obi versus Pinophobia. And I'm pretty excited for this. Yeah. Because I'm an Obi fan. Oh, really? I am a huge fan of this guy's Falco. Mm -hmm. uh, very fast movement, um, you know, very slick combos. But uh, especially the movement. Like, the movement is like the highlight of uh, his, uh, his gameplay for me. Oh. Peanut Phobia, an extremely interesting player to watch, right? Yeah. Just because of the Yoshi, because of. Uh, of how fast, of how fast he moves, of how well he controls the character. Yeah, I'm Going sort of interested it. in the American kind of Yoshi's. I only know <laughs> Japanese Yoshi's. So. Now you've talked to me about uh, how there are actually two Yoshi's in Japan. Yeah, there's, there's one that's not known though. Yeah, Blood Blue Yoshi. He's re really, really good. I heard words about him being near Amsa's level. Yeah, He's beat Amsa in the Ditto before. <laughs> Ooh. And Obi going in right now, not really giving uh, Pinophobia any space, right? Using those lasers to control the space zone, move forward. Yes. And get into the mix-up game that Falco is so good at. Looking to try to catch maybe those DJC uh, nares right there. Mm -hmm. Still. Uh, wow. Nice. Nice uh, parry on that laser, sending it right back. Nice. Just descends right there with the nair. So how familiar are you with, with Amsa's Yoshi? Uh, what, what do you mean? With Amsa, how, how how familiar? How much how much do you know about Amsa's Yoshi? Ah, you tell me a little bit about what Peanuts a doing lot. versus uh, what Amsa would do. Ah, and maybe Amsa use the platforms because right, this right. this matchup is the the double jump jump cancel you uh, works a lot in this matchup because Falco has uh, only one hit mm. attacks a lot, so you need to stop the kind of. Uh, many hit attacks to punish Yoshi. Yeah. So Yoshi has to parry or double cancel and get damages and hit the down smash or the down tilt mm. in the edge. That's kind of, kind of the Amsa's doing in style, this. Right? Yeah, this styles. And so one thing that I would see Amsa do a lot um, in I think this type of matchup is you mentioned going to the platforms. Mm -hmm. um, Falco, you know, has his great jump, mm -hmm. and he can really threaten the platforms well. But yes. Yoshi, with his sort of unique, oh, you know, trying to trying to cliff him with the with the egg. Yeah. But um, Yoshi, with his sort of unique shield drop, and uh, you know, the way that his mechanics work. Yes. Well, yo, wait, wait a second. Nice sex. Almost. Mm -hmm. Seeing something here. Back to neutral. Mm -hmm. But um, he would play the platform, try to get um, uh, Falco to commit to something so he could shield drop punish it. Yes, shield drop. Up tilt, uh, no, up air or back air. And Obi trying to use uh, the weird mechanics of Yoshi to make his shine, sort of shine spike. Yes. Um, you know, right there. And the ba back air works in this matchup. Yeah. It's so big and so strong. Mm -hmm. Obi playing very well right now. Really got um, a sort of a dominant lead on a. Nice okay, X. wait. And, uh, oh, uh, he nice. tries. Yeah. Okay. So I'm liking the lasers that um, Obi's choosing to shoot right now. One of the things that you mentioned that Amsa would do is he would play on the platforms, and I think part of that is because Falco has a very strong ground game. Yes. Um, with the laser, and you know he has a pretty good dash speed, great aerials to throw out, uh, so he can really threaten well on the ground and control space on the ground well. Yes. Oh no. So you don't have wow. to fight in the Falco's good places. So yeah, exactly. Amsa uses the shield in the platform and eggs. Yeah. To you, uh, to Draw, Falco to like, shield the oh, okay, X yeah. and the shields get little, then Amsa goes it. 
Right. Mm -hmm. So he, what he wants is he wants to get the shield small so he can yes. get those shield pokes with the nares mm -hmm. with the down tilt with something. And I feel like down tilt would be very strong in this matchup yes. just because mm -hmm. it's a fixed knockback move, right? Yeah. So you, if you get Falco near the edge at all with down tilt, he can just go flying out and you can get yes. a kill for it. And works like in Fox Shine tilt. Right, uh, right. Shine spike, yeah. Right. Ready? Seeing and Fountain of Dreams. Yeah, this is I think it's a good counter for Yoshi's. You know, I would 100% agree with that. Mm -hmm. I think that it has that high ceiling, which is um, something that's good against Falco. It protects against the uh, the double shine off the top. Yes. Uh, and a good platform layout for Yoshi. Mm -hmm. uh, it changes, but uh, those changes can be beneficial, right? Oh, the nice grab. grab. Oh, nice. the fair. Forward tilt. Jab. Up tilt. Up tilt. Oh, Up. my God. Nice. What is he doing? What is he doing? Nice. Yo, let's go. They grab it. Look at, looking like... MDVA's very own AMSA. <laughs> Peanut the blue Yoshi. Nice. Good stuff from Peanut right there. Very impressive punish. Back to neutral. Mm -hmm. Obi sitting on the corner. Just shooting lasers. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, another grab. Good. What's he going to do with this? Is he going to get the same thing? No. Nice. Obi gets out of it. Breaks through the combo with that strong dare. Goes straight to it's the ledge, good. though. It's good. Back to neutral. Oh, he gets that nair through the forward tilt right there. So Honestly, anything that uh, oh, sorry about no, that. No, but okay. Anything that Peanut gets right now is just gravy, right? Yes. More damage than Yoshi can get. The Falco out of the stage and mm. do the egg stuff or the down smash stuff. So as like it just gets so much easier for Yoshi once he has Falco off stage. Mm -hmm. so um, maybe more twenty one or more damage makes it more easier to kill it. Kind of looks like he did like a parry and a roll right there. Peanut, very, nice. very good against Falco. Um, uh, played with uh, Emo Dinosaur a lot, who is a very good Falco uh, in this region. Um, so knows this matchup very well. Yeah, if you don't know about Ooh. the matchup with the Yoshis, <laughs> you try to punish in the edge, then counter it. Yeah, it just gets reversed. Sometimes kill. Yeah, I mean that's try to punish it. So. That's one of the most dangerous things about playing uh, Falco is that uh, it's just so easy to overextend in little ways mm -hmm. and get yourself killed for it. Yeah. That time Obi was ready for the grab, though. Rolled out of the way. Good trade for Obi. Peanut at a uh, very high percent, unable to get back to grab the ledge. Obi making sure he was at the ledge to, so that uh, Peanut couldn't grab for anything. Yes. But nice up air. The dash pack. Oh, I tried to catch him nice with the egg. Eggs. Seeing some movement across the stage. I feel like Obi's putting himself in the corner a lot, and I think that um, uh, Peanut should be looking for, uh, like, approaching down tilt or something. Yes. Maybe uh, maybe harassing him with the eggs a little bit, like you said, to get that shield small, and then move forward with the down tilt, try to get uh, Obi off stage. Yes. Uh, especially with the trajectory that uh, down tilt throws you out, it gets you below the ledge, right? Mm -hmm. So it gets even harder to uh, recover properly. Yes. The eggs works a lot in that situation. Mm. And it, if it doesn't matter, if, if it hits, it's more than 10 more percentage. Eggs is a nice damage source. Absolutely. I mean, we see, like, whenever we see Omsa play, excuse me, uh, a lot of the time he does do that egg stall. Mm -hmm. uh, just to try to harass his opponent and get damage. Oh my gosh, he got him. Good stuff from Ovi. Good recognition that he wouldn't have uh, enough air dodge space to be able to get to the ledge uh, and just grab it. Uh, and just, you know, solid play from him right now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? Nice. Another combo. Oh, nice wow. Grab. Good stuff from Peanut Phobia right there. Just knowing exactly what to do, how to get that punish. Uh, make it uh, as good as he possibly can nice make eggs. it. Ooh. Nice. The pressure with those with jabs and those forward yeah. tilts. Yeah, it works a lot. He's starting to move on the platforms more. Nice. What's he going to get from this? Uh, it's always I'm, I'm sensing another grab. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, Omsa, or uh, Omsa. Peanut Phobia is going to be looking for another grab soon. Oh no, is nice. that it? Oh, okay, we got a attack. Oh, the parry? Nice parry. Yo! Attack, grab the edge. Wow, what a Perfect. comeback from Peanut Phobia. Nice. Really impressive stuff. Just knew to do that dash attack right away to cover the edge. Just get right on there. Falco's, uh, Falco's up B, pretty small. Yes. You know, pretty small. So he just exploits that stuff. Great stuff. Nice punishing. So I'm going to expect that mm -hmm. Peanut's going to ban FD. So I'm curious where Obi's going to go. Ah. Do you think we're going to see Yoshi's? Maybe I think it's Yoshi's or Final Really? Ridge. I'm surprised. 
actually, Yoshi is, is good stage for Yoshi's too. So you think so? Yeah. I uh, just oh, go ahead. Amsa says that his most favorite stage is Yoshi's because it the platforms and the the high high of the platform you makes really good for Yoshi's because the up smash can hit the can I poke her in? and it's easier to move. Yo. Yeah. Nice. Yo, what is Pina doing up right now? Oh up. my God. Uh, nice. Oh, he's it trying to almost. swag on him. <laughs> the new Yo, the grab again. Nice grab. Pina it's going for some Giphy cats right here, trying to show. Trying to show the world that America has some pretty good Yoshis too. Yeah. I'm so impressed. Back to neutral. Mm -hmm. And this is very, they got, just got very close very quickly. And that's like the power of Yoshi, he has such explosive punish. Mm -hmm. I like the American Yoshi is like more aggressive than the Japanese Yoshis. So right, Japanese right. Yoshis wait for the attacks, uh, the abominant attacks, and parry it or counter it or punish it. Or try to shield it, right? But he moves it aggressive, so it's yeah. It's yeah, it's a very proactive player, mm -hmm. and um, that's really difficult for Yoshi to mm. move aggressive. So he has Absolutely. the nice techniques. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I mean I think it's very clear that uh, um, you know Peanut has like a real mastery over this character. Mm -hmm. uh, not certainly not to the level of Amsa or maybe like you know Vector Man yet. But he's clearly an up-and-coming player, really dedicated to his character, very, you know, a lot of potential. Yeah, this character has a potential. Yeah, yeah I think so, too. Oh, you see another parry from him. Nice. Did he get something? Wow. Another parry. Nice. Peanut's starting to read when Obi's approaching, right? He's starting to get a sense of when he's going to have to parry, putting himself in the position to do it more often. Ooh. Nice. The roll read from Obi doesn't get anything though. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. I'd like to see Obi go for a little bit more grab, right? Yes. Because I think that he's been going for a lot of like he's been going for like lizard. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh, nearly. Ah, oh, the dash. But he got him anyways. Wow. Once again, we see Peanut just dragging it back, right? He wants it. Oh my gosh. Nice. Starting to do the egg stall. It's difficult to punish the. Egg stuff mm. in the edge if you do it perfectly. Right, right, right. And look at the pressure that Peanut Phobia outputs. Wow, good nice back or good uh, back stuff. Air. Yeah. Like he stuffed out that forward air mm -hmm. really nicely, um, Obi right there. Back. Still, Peanut Phobia pretty much in control right now, right? Mm -hmm. Very much trying to stick Obi in the corner and then make him do something bad. The savages. Good. Ooh. Control. So I like. I think that Obi's basically been hit at his strongest when he's not allowed himself to get put into the corner mm -hmm. by Peanut, and when he's just been playing straight neutral game with him. Yes. Um, because I feel like a lot, uh, like he's just mostly building up damage with lasers and like the straight hit with like the straight back air, the up tilt, or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, into an edge guard, which has worked. Nice. Oh, he caught the jump. Nice. But I'd like to see uh, Obi try to like maintain mm -hmm. uh, his position center stage. Um, like I'd, li I'd like to see him work harder to maintain his position, right? Ah, yeah. Because um, I think that that benefits him greatly. That puts him in the situation he needs nice to be smash. in. Nice smash. Great timing. Absolutely. They raised the double cans jump. Once again, Obi in the corner though. Yep. But he has nice damage. Down smash or something will work a lot in this bad percentage. Absolutely. Neutral will work too. I mean. Wanted to hit something. Honestly, like, Peanut just needs a straight hit right now into an edge guard. Not oh, yet. and there it goes. It works. Nice. And Peanut reacted well. He heard the start up and just immediately grabbed the ledge. At that distance, it's a little easier for uh, for any character just because uh, Falco has to go a little bit further with his Phantasm. Mm -hmm. Nice. He's sort of like keeping, uh, like, th they've rolled together or, like, been together while Yoshi's in a roll so often. And I'm not, I'm not sure whether Peanut's doing that or Obi is just reading him. Look at these this jab pressure from Yoshi, though. Yeah. Wow, I guess him. Nice. Nice back air. It's a good damage. Absolutely. Keeps him in the corner. Oh my gosh. Close. Parry again. Oh, he catches him. Watching Is that it. Nice. That's big. The X. Oh, okay. The MDVA. Oh, this is very, very close right now. Yeah. And he gets the parry, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they're basically nice. equal strength. Oh my gosh. He's watching. Oh, oh he, he was, was trying. He was trying. Yeah. And like all Obi needs right now is like a down tilt, mm -hmm. a nair, something. Hit. Yo, but that's a forward smash. 
nice. Oh, no. Nice But Peanut gets Peanut. him. Good stuff to Peanut. Good stuff to Obi as well. You guys just had an amazingly close set. Mm -hmm. Fun to watch. Hope you guys are all enjoying Xanadu right now. Mm -hmm. So, how about while we're waiting, you tell us a little bit more about the Japan scene. Oh. Tell us a little bit more about, you know, where you are in Japan, what your goal is in mm -hmm. Japan. Like, I know you came here and you wanted, you were interested in, you know, figuring out ways to grow the Japan scene. Yes. So, tell so us what you want to do. I just wanted to call more foreign players. I check out the Smash Bros. and I noticed there's a lot of foreign players uh, staying in. Oh, yeah, I'm going. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had to well, go. we'll talk about this yeah. later because okay. I know the stream wants to hear about Thank it. You. Watch, very interested in growing the Japan scene, wants to get foreigners uh, who visit Japan, wants to give them the information they need to find the Japanese melee scene. Paper Tiger. I know, I got you. How are you doing today, Hop? Uh, I'm pretty happy. I, uh, I took a game off Plank, which was uh, P good. What's up, stream? My name's Paper Tiger. This and is I'm, Hop. Yeah, and I'm Hop. Uh, my team's partner, the guy who drove me up here, the homie. Yeah, and luckily we didn't knock each other out today, so that's uh, always a good thing. <laughs> we nearly got put together round one though that would have been kind of hilarious i uh, know what, it what was been. hilarious was your response to it he yeah. called you guys to play and i don't remember which one of you i think it was paper tiger said that's my writing partner he said hey. that he oh, said that one <laughs> person said it's my writing partner the other person said we can't do that that's not okay definitely wasn't okay <laughs> but to be honest that, that's it's definitely <laughs> grime level well, to the maximum it wouldn't have been intentional it was just yeah, funny yeah, because yeah. you said it was such authority as if you were the to <laughs> <laughs> Just like that's not okay. No, it's it not gonna happen. happen. <laughs> not gonna happen, dude. The, the last three, like, there was one set of tournaments in a row, like three in a row, where we played, we each, played each other every time. Yeah, and it was, it was like the most close set possible. I, you know. Uh, yeah. And SDs also, at the end. And it was also it was screwed up because uh, he won the set, like multiple times, but the game. The game decided otherwise. not decided not to not to give it to your boy. No, it was a pretty good tournament otherwise. Uh, I, oh, I yeah. learned in Madden that if it's in the game, it's in the game. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's it's screwed up when you do a runoff dare with Marth at, uh, into a fire firebird, and then the, in, the inner hitbox hits instead, okay. so and Falco gets popped up. By, pretty by the way, we get we get Watch versus Hat. He's going Marth, so this is actually going to be pretty interesting for me. Absolutely. I played a couple friendlies with Watch uh, last thing I do before I sweat I sweat to death. Last thing I do had a hundred and some entrance, a hundred and twenty so people in the room at once. Very very hot venue sometimes. Yeah, it was exciting though. It was fun. Oh no, I mean, Xanadu is always fun. No matter yeah. what. Um, but you know, I mean with the humidity in MDVA it's just like, okay, so you go inside it's it's rough, you go outside it's rougher. I'm actually curious to see what they banned. So so uh, Watch ban FOD first and Hat banned F FD which is good and Dreamland which I, I'm not sure I agree with but this, this puts out a hard place for Watch and Ice Climbers. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I think that Yoshi's is uh, uh, Hat's favorite stage. Yeah, I know that. I just um, learned that today, for sure. And just real quick, um, Yo, the donations aren't showing up, um, but we did get one from Not Fendrick Lamar, and it says, Holy ish, I love Fendrick Lamar. Follow him on Twitter at Fendrick Lamar. Are you sure that's not Fendrick Lamar? I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, no, not nobody loves strength. Fendi more than Fendi. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get some words for that one. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, into the game. We have Ices versus Marth. Oh, that is exactly what you don't want to do. Double jump right on their face with the Absolutely. forward air like that. Well, I mean, I think that it's like it's it's kind of weird uh, weird to play this with Marth. Wow, that was that was nice. Just grab the Nana and throw him the other way. That's what I would do. True. Well, but he's in a great spot right now. I mean, and Sopo like Marth has the best neutral game, like period. Right. And uh, Sopo is a low tier. So Yeah, this is a mini game. Really, at this it's point. really rough. That being that being said, uh, you know, one single down smash hammer can put you in a really bad spot as Marth. He's Absolutely. pretty frail. Uh, I think I think that like uh, we both said this for a long time, but Marth's one of the true glass cannons in the game. Uh, that is that, definitely my opinion. Uh, and um, you can just tap him off stage once and he can die. So that's that's the good thing. That's why Marth kind of struggles against some mid mid tiers. Uh, 
at like lower skill levels, mm -hmm. and even at like higher levels, you saw the Link beat the Moon before. Yeah, is that he can be so fragile that if you mess up like small things, you can just you know die. The one good thing about playing against the Sopo, even though Marth doesn't kill him very quickly, is you can learn a lot about what their intentions are. Right. In, in a pretty safe space, like you the, see, you pretty much have one move that you're scared of at any one time on the ground, and that's uh, down smash. That was a nice air dodge from uh, right. Watch, though. Just to re-grab the ledge. Hat not knowing quite what to expect. Cool. Nice jab, uh, down smash. And uh, we see Wash get the first dock. And now all he needs to do is just like get a grab, get something. If he can get yeah. that, that'll mean everything. Just to get that Ice little Ice pretty decent tech chasing. Mm -hmm. I mean, even like a solo Ice is pretty yeah. good off the grab. Uh, they probably have the best grab game in the game. Crimson Yo, Blur, what's the, the Crimson percentage? Blur. What's the percentage, dude? The Crimson Blur. What's the percentage? Shoutouts shout outs to, uh, to Blur. Uh, and uh, up throw kills with Mark. He's in the side of me now. Oh boy. I was, uh, I was a little worried there. I thought uh, Sopo might have grabbed him. Yeah, uh, running off this platform Yo, like that, that is wobble? almost guaranteed to get you grabbed. Look for the re-grab. Uh, I have actually haven't seen Watch oh, wow. wobble in any of the games that I've played or watched against him. Uh, he you should have watched him play against me at the cave because I okay. definitely got wobbled. Okay. No salt though. Watch is a homie. Straight homie. Good uh, good gotcha. tech chase from uh, Hat right there. Just charge B. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he nearly got him. I mean, I don't know. I think that Watch is recovering really well with Sopo right now. Yeah. Uh, with that, with the with like the, all the like little tricks, right? He's done these air dodges that are sick. He's gotten him to hit him with like weak attacks to come back. Yeah, it's you're been good. Your intention is just to pester the other player at this point. Yeah. Like really make him earn it. Yeah, you know, I respect it. No, I, mean, I, I almost th threaded the needle there. Absolutely. So honestly, Watch looking for a grab right now. Looking, uh, he's very good at the, the Blizzard desyncs into grab. Um, you know, and then once he gets the grab, uh, you know, he can do uh, any number of things just to get up into that wobble, right? But and uh, that'll mean so much. Looking at Hat's neutral game versus Ice Climber is very interesting that he's choosing to side B so close up in their face. Hat, definitely an wow. aggressive player. What, but did you just see how he made Nana go to ledge and that to like yeah, take it? It's like GG. Back to ledge. Checkmate. Yeah. That was, uh, that was pretty all, smart. All good Ice Climbers know how to, to do the Nana grab ledge thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of it comes from like uh, the uh, the roll or spot dodge desyncs. Yeah, yeah, that's um, what it is. It's a spot dodge desync. Oh no! Wow, that is that's unfortunate. That's basically what should happen to Sopo, though. Like, real talk. Yeah, it's actually more beneficial at lower percent because if you hit them with the forward air, they actually have a new lease on life if they di it correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you really just want to be down tilting. Oh, I was looking for the regrab. All right, let's Hat. see how he leaves the platform. That's super important. Okay. Watch just chilling right just now. Wait just corner. wait this out. Just wait this out. Yeah. Nice gets the grab. Ooh, I, I'm Goes surprised he got all the way over there in time. Maybe Hat wasn't mashing fast enough. Who he knows? Definitely wasn't. Yeah. Definitely big chilling right there. Ooh, it's like Nana can get this. Wow. Trying to figure out what to do with Nana. L uh, lost his uh, lost his uh, focus yeah. on Sobo. Ice Climber players the ball. best babysitters. Definitely. He definitely was not paying attention. Okay. Well, he can uh, get punished hard. A nice fast throw through the platform oh is always God. a little tr bit tricky. So that's one thing to watch out for against uh, ICs as Marth, uh, is that a lot of the time they'll want you to down tilt them at full range so they can roll behind you and grab. Uh, that's like just one of the little tricks that the ICs can do. Sort of screw with Marth. Nice. Wow, nice, uh, nice from my hat right there. How much does uh, Marth get uh, off crouch cancel in this matchup? See, it's it's always it's always dangerous, right? Because there's two yeah. of them, and at any one time, if you choose the wrong thing, you, you get grabbed. Mm. This is definitely more of a, you know, use crouch cancel mm. at a, at a time where they don't have the complete advantage. Because mm. I, I feel like um, it's a little similar to like I I see can do like some Samus crouch canceling stuff on the fairs and stuff. Wave dash in with a down smash or something. Just to punish the landing of Marth after getting them to jump. Coming in with these forward airs right now. Very well, aggressive e play. Even more nuts is the side B play. It is it is pretty quick right after an aerial mm. to do it. So it kind of saves your butt sometimes from getting grabs. But he's using it so aggressively. And that's, a, that's the time where you use the the crouch canceling. Um, most of right, right. IC's aerials are pretty weak. Like down, down air, up air. Yeah, any, Nair, any. Nair, I, like you'll never see an ice climber using Nair. You'll see my ice climber Nair. That's the place space use. It doesn't matter that much. Um, all right, 
So Even one very respectable with the Ice Climbers Sopo right now. Absolutely. I mean, it looks like Watch's Sopo is pretty strong. Uh, oh, that was a sick, gra uh, sick roll there. Yeah, and once again, uh, a lot of Mars moves are really long, but he doesn't have anything behind him, right? Right. So pretty often you can just uh, roll behind and try to get a punish, right? Go for that jab grab, go for that jab uh, down smash. Just uh, staying safe right now, trying to make sure that Nana doesn't get punished. <laughs> that desync was something. Grab. I don't know what he was going for there. Yeah, I've seen Watch Ooh. do some nuts desyncs. Wow. Wow. It, that nice the Blizzard stuff. kept him kept him close by after that forward smash. Sick. Like that yeah. stuff. You know, you see that that dash dance though. Watch just playing Sopo with Nana right now. See, that's playing real aggressive, but I haven't. I'm surprised he hasn't thrown one of the ice climbers into each, each other yet, because that's actually really strong. Yeah. Looking for that full side B. Shout out to Ken. Maximum cheese. That Domino's right now, dude. We've teleported Extra. to Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh, and there's a wobble. There you go. Hat mashing. Hat should know that you only need to mash for a little bit. He gave up, see? He gave up. Good. But you only have to mash until the the like bar is full or whatever. There's like a like a This is a mash out counts. timer. It's yeah, a exactly. counter. And it it reaches zero, at which point if you leave hit stun at any moment, you get out of the, the wobble. But the problem is that you're in constant hit stun during a wobble. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Nana being a champion. What is he doing? Okay. Nana just, you know, fighting. Scrapping. You know Nana's West Coast. Nana loves to scrap. Also terrible DI. He also loves to jab. She just loves to jab and get up attack off the ledge. No, oh, true, <laughs> true. I don't know any West Coast players that do that. Yeah, because uh, that'd be, that's called death. He's right back into this game right now. Absolutely. I mean, that's the thing about Ice Climbers is that, um, they have such a potent comeback, right? As long as they have two of them out on the field, they can really come back from anything. Because all they need is, you know, uh, one grab, two grabs, however many they need. Nice up smash. Seeing some, like, neutral play. Once again, we're always seeing, like, Hat approaching, right? He's not really respecting anything that uh, Icy's can do. It's not a bad thing. Icy's yeah, don't have that it, much. Yeah, it is working for him. Wow. That Monster Timber! <laughs> yeah, the, the hitbox ascension was definitely blessed, blessing hat right there. Definitely bless. Hit the Nana, punish the p Sopo. Wow, that was interesting B-Sync. You see that? The uh, the up B down, the up B Blizzard B-Sync. I've never seen that before, actually. Once he catches the, it. The Nana pull? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He, uh, he canceled the, uh, the up B into, uh, into something. Oh, okay. Wow. So that's where you, you forward throw them, and it's really hard to get out of. With Marth. So this is uh, important right here. This is a uh, winner, winner's bracket stock for watch. Looking, looking to Very try close. to get something getting, here. Getting a little bit greedy on the jab grabs. Go, go get her. Go, go, okay. Whatever. So By new means over, though. His, his Sopo has been, been stuff. impressive. But if he can do this, he's a legend. It's just let, let's, let's be clear. Nice forward smash. Just grab ledge. No. Just throwing out attacks right now. A lot of those side Bs, he's starting to roll behind them, which I think is a pretty good adaptation. I mean, and I'd be a little nervous right now if I had, just because yeah, you never is, you never want to get come back on by Sopo. This is Marth's time to screw up, not the other way around. Absolutely. Is that over? No, not quite. Grab ledge. Oh, no. Now it's done. Good right, stuff well, to both players. Yeah, good game's the hat. Oh, gosh. You know... Watch putting in work. It can be a kind of a tough matchup if uh, Marth knows what they're doing. Uh, Pat plays a pretty unconventional Marth in that matchup as well. Very aggressive, very side yeah. B heavy. You won't see very many Marths try try that matchup like in that style. But then again, he does have Nintendo practice, you know, every week for more than a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That matchup would happen. Oh, and and, and watch oh, emoting. Oh, uh, but we got we got Peanut in Winter Semis versus Plank. Ooh, cool. Yo, is uh, is that the guy that uh, I took to Game Three? No, <laughs> dude, you totally blew that. I uh, shut up. Whatever. I guess we don't talk about it on stream. Yeah, no, I'm. Forward, I'm that's more forward smash though. Anybody who saw it. That forward smash though. True, true. All right, so we're seeing Yoshi Sheik. Chain grabs on deck. You think? I can't remember if Yoshi's chain grab. Plank. If there is a chain grab, well, which there is, I'm sure that he is proficient at it. 
<laughs> Plank definitely pro proficient the chain grab at master. chain grabs. Yeah, chain, chain grab, grab master. master. Now, uh, hop on on. H O P A N O N. A N O N. His is charging my B. Charging my B. Yeah. No, no, charging my B. Yeah. All right, now that that's squared away. Pretty solid Twitter handle, to be honest. Honestly, I, I do think that Yoshi, like, preys on characters that only have single hit moves. Yeah. And that being said, all of Cheek's moves are single hit besides Needle. Yeah, but you can't parry a grab. Can't parry a grab. So I talked to Plank outside when we were smoking a cigarette. And he said that after SmashCon, a fire has been lit in him that he hasn't felt in a long time. I, I could definitely uh, say the same thing for about like a year and a half ago when people actually started trying at Xanadu. He would say, do you remember that? I definitely think that Plank has improved a lot since then. Absolutely. And, and Hat too. I mean, Hat beat Hugs. Now uh, Plank, Plank this also beat Hugs. Hugs. Beat hugs. Shout, out to, shout out to Hugs. Hugo. Shout out to Hugs the losing legend. to MDVA players. Please come to one of our tournaments and be a pop monster for us, guys. <laughs> hugs the pop monster in MDVA. Yeah, I, I actually didn't see the, the match versus Plank, but uh, the one on Hat for, on a Xanadu that one time was so impressive. Oh, absolutely. No, I mean, um, a lot of players in this region are leveling up right now, to be honest. Like, you know, um, Red's put, been putting in, like, a lot of work. Especially, he feels really motivated since SmashCon getting 25th. Uh, Zane has been... Zane got 49th at EVO, which is super impressive. Ridiculously impressive, as well as, uh, like, I think he got 49th at SmashCon as well. Yeah, and the, the best thing um, is that they're not happy with the, this places. They shouldn't be. And, they, and they're going to be getting better. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them about 49th logic. Tell them about 49th. Oh, no. 49th feels awful. 49th place master right here. 49th The 49th place uh, master. I still cry about it at night. I bet you do. I can't All right. wait till next Evo to get I mean. 48th. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're getting back to the match, though. Pinophobia, early percent, uh, percent lead. But See, playing grab master. grab. Chain grab master. master. Pino Don't DI off. off, right? Yeah, it's hard. Actually, it's, yeah. Oh, go ahead. See, Diang off there forced him to go for the forward air, and, and uh, he could just parry through it, or double jump double armor, jump through, sorry. Yeah. Wow, and honestly, like Peanut has been playing pretty well today. Do you see, uh, you know how nice his combos were on uh, on Obi? He was doing uh, doing some nice stuff. Yeah, and, and his uh, parries well, were on deck. His parries were definitely in there. Like his entire last stock versus Obi was just like parry, parry, parry. Didn't matter if it was a laser. Didn't matter if it was a move. He just parried the the, the crud out of him. Ooh, nice power shield right there, but Plank can get anything off of it. Wow, and I, th I looked at the percents for a second and thought it was even, and then I saw one little less tiny little face by Platts. By one Platts. little less ninja face. One, one less ninja oh, face. Oh, whatever. That was a nice uh, call out there. You kind of forced him to go up there. Nice. Because yeah. of how quickly Yoshi grabs the ledge, uh, he actually just tricked him completely. Yeah, absolutely. Playing real nice. Now, Plank... One of the only people I've heard that actually has practiced the Zelda, just in case that happens. Mm. But he got the 12%, and that's all you can really ask for. Yeah, I mean, I'd be fine with that. Okay. Yoshi's really get cooking if they happen to catch you missing a tech because of the jab reset. Yeah, you can get so stuff. much off of that, to be honest. Like, yeah. Yoshi has so many good launchers, and with a character like Sheik, uh, who gets comboed so, so easily. Yeah. Um, Definitely the preferred combo weight for a lot of characters. Yeah, absolutely. Look yeah. at that parry. Oof. Wow, he's playing so great right now. You can get the snipe too. Absolutely. This, this does not happen every day. Definitely. I mean, this is not an <laughs> advantage matchup for Yoshi, to, to say the least. Um, and Peanut just making making it look like making it look like it. To be honest, nice down tilt. See, there that mix up there between grabbing the ledge and, and just staying on stage. It happens so quickly that the she has to make a decision, right? right? So and like one of them movie. equals your death. True, true. So, true 50-50. I'm glad to see that, that Peanut's actually call, making him call out for it. Oh, that was so close to being swag as heck. Wow, great stuff. Three stock And he concedes plan. the last stock. Sheik, li Sheik lives forever when you hit her off stage. Yeah, yeah, because of real. Because of the way her uh, recovery works. Plus, he does, like, Plank obviously likes going Zelda. Recover. Get the yeah, get the run back. Very willing. 
So we're just chilling in the corner trying to charge needles, right? I don't think Plank is in any hurry to confront Peanut right now. Wants to chill, do damage. Yeah, try hard mode engaged. Try hard mode engaged indeed. Seen all those all those needles. Yeah, I think that when we see uh, Plank start to just chill on the ground a lot. Oh, by the way, Logic, the uh, the Plank Plank's name is above Peanut, and Peanut's name is above Plank. Um, All right. So we, we we see Plank start to go onto the ground and play like a really ground ground game oriented cheek. As soon as he starts to like get out of the lead, right? Yeah, and the the thing is, is Yoshi loses the ground game against most characters. Yeah, yeah. He has to make reads. Yeah. Which we've already seen that uh, Peanut is on point with today. Ooh. That was a nice call out with that. With that was that jab, I think. Mm -hmm. Just uh, just putting a hitbox out in front of uh, Yoshi's movement. Yo, nice shield drop. Oh, the, that egg. He he's trying to make the, make the reverse the reverse half that reverse half court shot, dude. <laughs> Try, Did you see like, the combo video contest with Prince? You know, he was trying to trying to do some egg shenanigans. Some egg shenanigans, huh? Yeah. That for 64. Yeah, it was great. Anybody listening Ooh. should watch that. The later. Reads. Yo. No, Peanut, come on. That was sick, though. And still, this is keeping, keeping it close. Once again, not an easy matchup uh, for Yoshi in the slightest. Um, we're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of mix-ups on uh, the recovery from Sheik, right? Like you pointed out mm -hmm. earlier. Um, ma making it very, like, ambiguous where uh, Peanut's going to be to cover what option, right? Like, really not clear. Um, still, now that Plank has, like, sort of anchored himself onto the ground, it seems like it's a lot harder for uh, Peanut to get in. It's a lot harder. Oh, here, here is where you set up after the jab reset. Oh, the read. Oh, I, guess I, I think that's the best he can do on a high platform. Oh my god, I was worried he was going to catch heat. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay, did he get something? No, looking for that up smash. I think this is some of the best I've seen Peanut play in weeks. Yeah. Maybe months. Um, That's what that major, that national practice does for you. Absolutely. You get on a whole nother level going to majors, which is why you should go to uh, to the next major, especially if it's an MBVA major, because uh, our majors are sick. Ooh. The rolls. The rolls. <laughs> He's kind of stuck. No needles, though, so. Just chilling. Concede. Wait, what happened? Oh, no. He unplugged oh, his controller. Oh, my God. So I think what happened was uh, uh, Penis controller might have started light shielding. Oh, that's oh okay. That would explain the rolls, and that's terrible for Yoshi, right? Because he can't jump out yeah, of shield. Yeah, yeah, that's really awful. I don't know what they're gonna do about that in this match. I, I'm sure Plank is fine with this because he'd be at zero percent. I mean, I don't know what they're gonna do. Okay, they're at five minutes. This is really unfortunate to see. Does Yoshi? Does uh, Peanut have control back? He's moving around now, but he's getting those wave dashes. That's important. Well, we don't know what's going on here. This is really unfortunate. His shield is, um, I don't know if it's his R or his Z. It seems like he thinks it's Z. It's just forcing him to shield. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I've, I've had controllers with that problem. Yeah, exactly. Not only is that terrible, but it's extra terrible with Yoshi. Yeah, for sure. Bones is behind them, maybe giving him a controller to, to use. And unfortunately, there's no pause. I don't know if we said that yet. And this is such a close game too. Yeah, uh, that's like the he's worst. Getting, thing he's getting he's getting iced, right? It's getting like ice in the kicker. Yeah, with especially with how how strongly he came out run immediately too, right? And there's no pause. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Plank's running out the clock right now. Plank is actually griming at our <laughs> boy. Plank Plank had this <laughs> had this in the notes. He knew. He wrote the Xanadu script to make sure this would happen so we could time uh, out. This is Xanadu script now. Xanadu script uh, now. Oh god. Oh god, no. So I'll stop memeing on you, okay? It's over. I I wonder if this like when when this started, uh, for Pina, like, what at what point in the game? It it had to been when he rolled around about three or four times, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that that's when you know. I mean, I thought that he was just mind gaming. Uh, well, he's plugging his controller back in that orange controller. The F out of plank. Okay, it looks like we're gonna attempt to reset the situation of the match. Or something. Because that's two less minutes 
to play, and that actually could be important. You never know. I mean, with with how low the stock count is, I don't think it should be too big of a deal. Okay. Um, I are you, are you sure three it. minutes is not that long? And I think they're playing it out now. I'm going to assume so, at least. Well, that's admirable. Still, like, a tough situation to be in. It reminds right. me of uh, of Evo uh, when, Momochi, when Momochi's paws broke in Ultra Street Fighter 4. That was so legendary. Well, what a set. What a set. Now, the, Peanut. The, the one saving grace of this is Peanut has that game reserve in the back. You know, he has his counter pick next game. Maybe he just took the time to think. But he's definitely... Okay. He definitely needs to wake up because this uh, last stock and a half has not looked so good. Ooh, the dash attack, though? Up air? No, not this time. I mean, I would just love to see, like, the, the strong punish come out from Peanut again, right? Because his punish was so strong in the first game. And even in the first half of this game before that unfortunate controller malfunction. So I like to see the, the confidence come back and him just start to, to, to get that punish back on, back on tape. You know, back on deck. Well, he's starting to make decisions that can get him severely punished, especially with Sheik with the chain grab. Oh, that was sick, though. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Okay. Yo. Oh. That, very hard to get out of that after that up tilt. You either get nared or you get up, up air the other direction. Right, right, right. Oh, wow. Nice stuff. Sick. sick edge grab. Exactly. From, uh, that, that's where right the 50-50 right comes in crucially for, uh, for Yoshi there. Yeah, I mean, he just grabs the ledge so fast. Right, because his, his double jump actually goes a little bit under, and Yoshi gets to turn around after his jump. Right, right, right. So, it's like so right here, see? He really had to oh. force the situation. Oh, great stuff by that. That was sick. Or by Plank, sorry. <laughs> Don't, it happens to everybody, especially now that uh, Plank, Plank shaved his beard and has a baby face now. They, they play the same color, too. I'm oh, sorry. I'm allowed. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I guess I'm gonna lower my voice. I have a naturally loud voice, and I'm just. All right, now they're actually gonna to chest to see what's gonna happen just with this uh, my controller. Wow, this is really, really unfortunate situation. Now he's actually switching controllers. And and what might this might this do, right? Because if if it's a controller you're not familiar with, you might just lose some some tech yeah, skill. You know? Yeah, the controller is really important for this game. Very unfortunately. Unfor yeah, exactly. I wonder what we're gonna be seeing. Maybe uh, Yoshi's. Yoshi's story. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Yoshi's in this matchup probably. I think that it's a small stage, good platform, shield drop through, you know, uh, works well for uh, what Peanut's trying to do, right? Does right. give uh, Sheik that extra leniency in her recovery, which she can wall jump, though. And that that being important. said, the, the way that the that Plank changed up this last game was staying grounded, and this, uh, this stage has far less ground to play right, on. Right, right. That's a very good point. The grab. That the lower platforms will also help get out of the chain grab earlier, now that I think about it. Yeah, but both, uh, but she gets the wavelength grab. It's pretty much guaranteed. Mm. So it's it's a rough call, right? Yeah. But that's what happens when you play the two. Still, if it's a little harder, right, then a little bit more of a chance to mess up, which is, you know, what what some of these characters do need. Oh, the egg. Opts to throw the egg there instead of like going to the edge or something. So that's like that layers into the the great crash the cancel there up. on the jab. Mm. Pulling center right now. Oh, just gets slapped. Bad DI too because he thought he was going to go the other way. Plank really brought this back. Oh. oh. Now, Cheek's hitbox is actually just so small that things like that happen more than they should. Oh. I'd like to see. Oh, okay. Great Come stuff. On. Oh. What are you doing, Vita? Well, actually, Sheik can grab or can, can touch the top of that oh, platform right. even you're when right. he goes straight up. So. It's hard to cover both, right? But he fast fall through it. That's very, very fair. But I saw him miss that so. earlier on uh, on Fountain as well, I think. My intuition says that the chain grab isn't guaranteed at like all these percents, which is why Plank's not going for it. Mm. And uh, he's getting to armor through a, a, a chic F tilt because the chain grab wasn't working. Oh my god. That was nearly a hard read. Nice nair. Whoa, that was nuts. I did not expect Yoshi to like slide off the ledge like that. That was really weird. 
Oh, is that oh, see how see how little her hitbox is there, especially when she's fl flailing around the air. Yeah, it can be really difficult just to. It's similar. Like I have similar problems with Peach, right? Uh, when she's floating, she just tucks her legs in, and she's just so so thin, right? So lanky. Uh, that uh, that yeah. like inner tumble when she turns like, yeah, exactly, horizontal. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. She just gets really hard to hit. Yeah, oh, okay. Yoshi notorious for uh, you know hitbox issues in the in the right plane of the game. Cause this game's actually in like 2.5 D. 3D game. Yeah. You can watch Axe's video on Yoshi's Grab called Melee as a 3D game. Uh, for more information. Looking for a trade there with the up there. Well, with the up there, I think from uh, you know I didn't quite get it out. This is oh. where Yoshi just needs reads versus these characters. He so needs like, movement-based reads to, to get in. It's just there's no actual neutral game tool that you can he can utilize okay. against these characters with great zoning. Wow. Nice grab. That was a good grab. And we saw once uh, once uh, Pina started to get those grabs on Obi, that was really like the turning point of that set, right? Yeah, because you don't even really think about it when you play against Yoshi. You don't really think about getting grabs by him. Oh, wow. Snipe. And there you go. Can. There's that 50-50. See, throw. establishing it in the first two games... Proving crucial in this last game. Absolutely. And Pina's doing pretty solid right now. Oh, nice. I, I am okay with that trade. Oh, good tech. Gets it with a down tilt. That down Another. tilt. Oh, he's going to get out to the uh, Randall now? Okay. Nice. Okay, and Randall is just oh getting in right God. now. He's gone. Pina, is this going to happen? Nice. Wow. Look at all these reads. Let's go, Pina. Again. This is looking like curtains. But like I said, she lasts forever. No. Oh, sorry. That's gonna be death. No bias in Reno, my bad. Oh, that was interesting choice. He nearly lifted that. Very intelligent nair there. This is the clutchest nair of all time. No, don't don't go too hard on him right now. You have this. Right. I mean, Plank just I'm invested, big chilling man. right now. I'm invested. No, I mean, I agree. Oh, uh, the chain grab. Plank big chilling right now. This is why you gotta just be careful right now, when you, especially when you have the crouch cancel percent versus Sheik. And the worst thing is like when you have a read on someone and then it gets in the clutch moment and oh, it's like you start, you start you start fishing for something. Nice. Wow, what was that DI? I to be honest, I wasn't expecting the nair right there either, especially with the reverse, but that was great. So we actually got Peanut in winners finals. I don't think that I've ever said that before. What's going on? Move blank over there. Oh, he's We definitely were not that loud the, the last game. Uh, Plank, not so happy about that. I think, t honestly, I think he's projecting a little bit of his loss onto that because we were definitely were not that loud the last game. I definitely feel bad now. Yeah, and, and they also have the the headsets. Oh, uh, well, I missed what. Gotcha. Like I was saying, they usually have the headsets, but they don't have them today. Like not happy about that at all. <laughs> he doesn't want to. I'll commentate with Quist. What's up, what's up? Yeah. He's practicing against the Fox right now, but I... I really hope that he goes Misu. My, my name's Kyle, by the way. Uh, Paper nice. Tiger. I'm Quiz, dude, or Tyler. Whichever one you prefer. Okay, cool. All right, so we got Obi versus, I think that's Zoma, right? That is Zoma. So this is going to be pretty fast. Fast Fallers, the character that you c you can go uh, Mewtwo and then yeah. have a good time against. Yeah. Honestly, like, 
I wish Mewtwo was like had some little kill confirm or something. Like, even if he just had like a down throw fair on floaties, he could be a yeah, s yeah. much much better character. Well, or or and you know honestly like just the weight is the, the weight is killer. Yeah, and having also a, the, having dude, a hitbox the on the boxes, yeah the hurt his box. tail is just it's gross, dude. You know, right. down throw knee works to over 250 as a true combo against Mewtwo. Just because he's just spinning yeah, around. Yeah, well, because he has this giant flailing tail of a hurt box. Yeah. It's just really unfortunate. And also, it means that like he has good hitboxes, but they're still not good moves. Like moves like back air, they're not good because they're not disjointed at all. His tail, right, like right. his whole hurtbox is with the hitbox basically. Are they going this stage on game one? This because that's definitely not the not right choice. Like at all. I mean, Obi is didn't, have, Obi didn't okay. have to go here at all. Like, right, this right. is a best of three. I don't, exactly. What are you doing, man? This is like the only stage where Mewtwo has an okay matchup against the Andy top tier. Is versus fast followers on FD. Right. Uh, we're going to see a lot of really crazy chain grabs, possibly zero to deaths. Um, there's just some really crazy stuff that Mewtwo can do here with like right. fair chains, up throw, re grabs. Just um, Yeah, see, here's we're going to see fairs, re grabs, uh, possible up air juggles. Uh, just a lot of stuff you can do here when right. there aren't platforms to interrupt. And being a low tier player is crucial that your reads are on point. And I, just from watching him up from this week, ooh, nice, wow, nice that was really Very good solid from Zo yeah. or from Obi. I feel like it almost seems like he knows this matchup because that was basically exactly what you're supposed to do there: is take Mewtwo's double jump and then just put a hitbox out where he has to up B. Uh, even though Mewtwo's recovery is very good, it's only good when he has his double jump. Up B by itself is just actually not that amazing. But when you have a double jump that goes that far and you're that floaty, it ends up being really good. Right, and he can also extend his double jump with uh, an aerial at the yeah, end. Yeah, exactly. It's interesting, actually, um, all four of the characters that have that long, slow jump that Mewtwo has can do that a little bit, but with Mewtwo, it's the only Next character level, that actually yeah. matters. Yeah. Um, like, because of the way his momentum works, essentially, with his double jump, he has very, like, strong differences in how fast the momentum's going. Uh, but right now, we have a pretty dominant performance from Obi, actually. Obi's looking really solid in this matchup. Yeah, and on his worst stage, too. Well, like, the worst stage for this <laughs> matchup, anyway. Which is pretty crazy. Because uh, if this is what we're seeing now, you know, Zoma's got to be thinking, wow, I'm getting yeah. bopped on FD. What's going to happen? Yeah, what does game I, two look even like? If, like yeah. Even if I bring this back and win it, like, what's it going to look like when I don't have zero-to-death combos on this character? You know? And to be honest, he hasn't really gotten it at all, that, that damage. That yeah, has he got, like, a 40 or 50% one on um, the first stock, but it still wasn't, like, what you need to get to justify playing a, a low tier, you yeah. know? Yeah, and Mewtwo, they, like, his damage output isn't that strong. You have to hit a lot of a lot of moves to it's kill It's all about character. edge guarding, basically. Yeah. Like, Mewtwo's, I don't know, he's kind of like bad Marth in a way. Like, he has big right. hitbox moves and can juggle characters, but... He actually gets punished even harder by crash can cancel. And this yeah. is not what I expected at all. Yeah, honestly, it's not. Um, Obi's playing really, really good right now. This is if we see a four stock on FD, that's gonna. Oh my God, it's just so bad. <laughs> and that was uh, like fair is Mewtwo's kill move off the top, and he just right. I mean, a, like a throw right here will will definitely kill. Yeah. But easier said than done, right? Yeah, yeah. Grabbing, I mean, because Mewtwo's grab is actually like his throws are great, but his actual grab is not very good. Right, right. Uh, and except for at low percents, he really doesn't have confirms into it. Um, he actually does have a grab that goes a little bit. Like into his body, like a lot further yeah. than the people well, would the, expect. The problem is, like, while that can give you, you know, like reverse grabs and things like that, it also means that it's really hard to grab in front of you. Like, as right. to, like you know how sometimes with Marth you can actually grab past them by accident and miss. Right. Now that's because his grab box is so far forward, but it's also it's why his grab arm. is the best in the game, because it's, it's just super far out, you know. Yeah. The disjoint killer. Exactly. Oh, and these, uh, I love these teleports from Zoma, uh, but I think it might be somewhat too little, too late. Um, you know, not that you should stop trying or anything like that, but uh, he's going to take some serious combos to actually bring this game back from this percent. Lasers playing out of shield and just crouch canceling makes yep. this hell for, uh, for Zoma right here. Uh, but he's Mewtwo. got, um, actually Mewtwo can pressure space animals by the ledge pretty hard because of uh, down throw. Is actually, it's, a, it's essentially a really bad throw when they can afford to DI straight out. There are no true follow-ups. Uh, but when they're by the ledge, they're given the choice of DIing off the stage against the character who has good edge guards or DIing like essentially straight up and it being like a chic down throw. Yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunate side B from Obi there. Uh, this is anything. Like yeah, anything Zoma's kind of, I mean, he lost it there. I feel like at the end of the game there, he got things together again. Uh, he really kind of found his footing. Uh, and it was a little too late for that game, but it was not too late for the set. This is still doable, I think. Right. That being said, best of threes. You have to make that adjustment pretty yeah, quickly, right? Yeah, it's very unforgiving. And he's going to um, go right back. Okay, so back he's keeping FD. it true, what, keeping it what honest. What is Obi banning? I mean, honestly. Well, I, honestly, after that performance, you know, 
Just let, let him go to FD. I mean, yes, but I, I don't think that the reason that Obi played that well the first game had much to do with FD. I think it was just right. him playing really well on FD. Right. And at anybody's perspective, they have to know that Mewtwo is, is good on the stage. Like, yep. All right. Here, we him. really need to see these combos. All right, an up air juggles. Oh, Very nice that stuff. is what I'm talking about. That's He's the kind of thing. I mean, it would have been even better if he'd managed to finish it out, but an 80% combo is an 80% combo. That's more than enough, I think. I don't know what he was looking for. He, I think he was expecting... He was trying to get um, the... Ch you know that Charging yeah, the charge, Shadow Ball right. actually has a hitbox. So he was reading a high side B from Obi, and then he could have canceled the charge and gone off and hit him. Um, that, that being said, that, that's not only going to work on players who are... You're just not going to be able to recover correctly, right? Um, no, it's it's going to work on players who are trying to up B high. Uh, it's, oh, okay. it's, it's just a read. Um, whenever Falco recovers, it's a, it's a sort of a, a vertical thing. You know, you can side B high, low, really low to a sweet spot, right. or you can just up B and wait. Uh, and Mewtwo kind of has to read both of those things because he can't afford to be out there. He doesn't have very fast moves. Um, so when he puts a move out, like say he goes out with back air, he needs yeah. to call whether he's going to up B or side B and where. Yeah. Like you said, he's like a bad Marth. Except Marth does not have to commit that hard exactly. in, in any Well, it's because Marth has down tilt and right. uh, moves like that on stage. We can just honestly just wait on stage and pretty much call most of uh, the space animal options. But he's Whereas keeping this very honest this game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's looking much better. Uh, and it's honestly, it's looking like uh, like Obi shouldn't let him go to FD. Um, yeah, this is because this all the these confidence booster, combos, you know. Yeah. These mid-tier players, they, they have to be getting these reads. And those are game, you know, they're going to go across multiple matches, right? And yeah, exactly. You're getting him too much data. Like reading a, reading a player, you know, yeah, it's exactly. like not just what they like to do now, but what they like to do all the time. You know, what's their favorite yeah. follow up from this? What's the thing they like to do in neutral? Like, it seems like, you know, just uh, on a basic level, Obi really likes to do lasers and then come in behind him after a couple, do a narrow dare. Pretty standard Falco stuff. Oh, oh but honest, I'm kind of surprised that Zoma made that back. Yeah, that impressive like, recovery. Yeah, yeah, but it's really unfortunate that he couldn't just close out that stock there because he had a really great combo to start. Was, uh, we've seen, I think, at least two, if not three, of those um, those crazy spacey juggle, like almost Marth-esque combos, which is exactly the reason that Mewtwo likes it here on the stage. Right. Uh, he's got to finish his food. I don't think uh, Zoma's actually done a true zero to death any of these times. He keeps missing the edge guard, uh, which is, to be fair, very difficult. You do have to hard read Ooh. it. Oh, please don't that's die. Where the, oh, that's where the, uh, the aerial after the double jump yeah, exactly. would have helped. See, but Zoma he just was died. trying to call uh, an early side B and Obi did a late side B, which is just like how forgiving or unforgiving edge guarding is in matchups like this. It's like he even he called the like the vertical area right and which move right. He just missed the timing a little bit and died for it right, at that, 19. That's the name of the game versus Falco sometimes. Yep. Very good power shields, though. Um, Mewtwo actually has a pretty good shield for his size. Um, it would be a lot better if his tail didn't stick out, but all in all, I would still say it's in the upper half of shields in this game. Oh, boy. All right, and that Who's should that? be it. Who's yeah. Bird? Like, as soon as Falco gets below the ledge in this matchup and he has to up B, um, it's a very easy down smash from Mewtwo. Mewtwo's down smash, uh, not the best move generally, but it covers up That was a Z power really shield, solidly. I think. Was it? Yeah, it was a, that was a huh. light shield power shield, I believe. Interesting stuff. One thing I'm interested to see is that if we start to see a lot of the mid and low tier mains use the power shielding more like the ones that actually can't power shield. Characters like Donkey Kong, yeah. you know, they just have really bad shields. Um, because the lack of power shielding, like even nice ability, teleport, by the way. is a really big thing that's holding back characters like that in matchups with projectile characters. Ooh. I really thought that he had enough after accident. that, that yeah. power shield. I feel uh, like Obi's really trying to play it safe right now against Zoma's shield especially, but even just around him, like, he really doesn't want to get grabbed. I think he understands that it's really hard for Mewtwo to get much of anything in this matchup that isn't off of a grab. So he's just really playing it safe, kind of falling back a lot, you know, doing a lot of shine pressure, things like that, and just not pushing his luck. That being said, if Zoma could persevere through this match, he just gave him way too much data. I mean, you know? what do you mean by that? Like, Obi gave him like way too much information about how he plays. Well, I feel like it's kind of hard to, to play without using like the things that you do. Uh, the key isn't so much not giving information, it's changing things up so that the information that they have becomes outdated as fast as possible. Alright, this is looking really, really close. Uh, definitely, this is it's Falco, still in Falco's yeah, favor Falco because of air, that. Yeah, yeah. Straight back, back air is, is it. very strong. Uh, and that was Obi winning two games on FD to 2-0 Zoma. That's pretty crazy, uh, yeah. honestly. Considering that I would have said uh, that Zoma was probably the favorite player there, uh, even you know not on his best stage twice. But really solid stuff from Obi. Uh, I really I love Obi's play style. A really cool guy.
play a lot of friendlies with him a couple weeks ago. Definitely. I think he's going to be on the PR for sure. He's got a lot of you really so? good wins, yeah. Do you know, did you, you know if he attended the Arcadian like a month or two ago? I don't, honestly. I know... I don't think he did, because I know Mom won, and I, wa I watched the last like couple sets, didn't see Obi. So unless he busted out, yeah. I don't think he went. That was a an Iron Man of a of a tournament. I think they finished it, you know, at eleven or twelve, and they oh, started. Yeah. It, you know, it took yeah. all. I mean, day a lot long. of people are gonna come out. You know, Arcadians are really great for sort of the mid level players of the region to try to come out, prove themselves, make some money. Yeah. You know? That being said, I, I feel like people like Obi had already kind of made a statement for himself. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Obi's he's been, I don't it's been, what, two or three months, I think, since he's really started coming out in full force. But, th but that's um, crazy. Like, that's not that's not normal. Yeah, that's, oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's a netplay warrior. For those of you yeah. who don't know, he's been playing netplay for a long time. He's actually a very experienced player, despite being pretty new to the MDBA scene. Uh, him being ranked in the top 20 would not be a surprise to me at all. Very good player. Very solid. Gotcha. And right, just as a, as a... Bones Plank. Yeah, um, I actually I, I wasn't commentating, but I was watching, and I saw Peanut Phobia beat Plank in winners, which is pretty solid upset. Honestly, that's not right. something I he think has ever happened Obi before. He actually beat Obi and Plank. Oh wow, he beat so he's Obi in winners too. finals. Yeah. Wow, good stuff to Peanut Phobia, man. Yeah. And just to give any viewers an idea of what the the PR at the end of the PR is, Peanut is ranked twenty right yep, now. Yep, very last. And and Mom is around that level as well. That's just the uh, it's <laughs> you're you're pretty good, but you can't go to the Arcadians. That's what that means. Right, I've especially because he didn't he didn't even take it. And yep. Actually, he wasn't allowed to participate. Cause yeah, they yeah, because he was right on the PR. before it. Right before it. Yep. Yeah. All right, so this is kind of a, an MDVA classic. I feel like um, Bones, Hat, and Plank are the guys that always come to Xanadu every week. Just um, kind of staples of this weekly. Very solid players. I can only imagine this is losers finals. Losers um, quarters. Honestly, I don't know. Probably show up on the screen then. It's you gotta also remember that Plank. Uh, was it winners semis that Pinophobia beat Plank? Yes. All right, so that would make this, I think, losers quarters. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. Ready, go. Is this is button warmer. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely a button warmer. You can tell because the screen's still small. Uh, you're reading the chat? Yeah. Alright, do you know, um, I haven't seen these guys play a whole lot when I'm on commentary. Um, I think it's Plank favorite just based on the rankings, but do you know what their head-to-head -head is like? I, I couldn't tell you, but they play it all the time. Yeah. I feel like but that just goes to everything. Like, yeah. That I actually, I don't think I've been to a tournament this summer that didn't have Bones. <laughs> I go just like a lot of MDVA stuff, some stuff in like 717 around like Eastern Pennsylvania, and he just comes to everything. Is 717 in Pennsylvania? Yeah, that's where I'm uh, from. It's uh, my home region. Oh, okay. It's about an hour 45, two hours from here. Okay. Um, yeah, but getting into it, uh, striking to fountain. That's an interesting choice. I feel like a lot of Falcos actually don't like this stage very much because of the low platforms. This is this but is still a good Falco stage, I would say. I mean, every stage is a good Falco stage. I feel like there are better Falco stages. I don't know. It's really up to personal preference. Uh, Falcos that are good at like edge canceling and just being really fast still love this stage because they can just do crazy stuff with those platforms. Uh, but uh, it depends on honestly your personal preference. And also these these guys have played all the time, right? So yeah. There's got to yeah. be more to it than than just uh, you know. Yeah, it might be Bones knowing that Plank doesn't like it very much for all I know. And so uh, these players definitely know each other very well. Uh, we're seeing uh, a little bit of missed tech chasing from Plank here. Uh, definitely, I feel like Bones putting a lot of pressure, kind of keeping center stage. A lot of people have actually been been up, giving it to Plank today, giving him a hard time. Really? Who else was? Yeah, it? like Hop. Hop took him to game three. Really? And uh, and Peanut beat him. Yeah. Well, good stuff to Hop. I definitely, I uh, didn't see that match, but you think he's just um, not playing quite as well as he usually does, or what? Maybe, but I, I heard from Hop that uh, you know Plank is a lot more excited about melee. Since uh, Smash Con, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, he beat hugs, hugs right? right? Yeah. So, dude, it's it's actually crazy how many people from this region have beat hugs. Like, st even just, like statistically speaking, hugs <laughs> lives on the other side of the country. How do we have this many players that have taken tournament sets off? Of them? I don't know. I don't know. Definitely a slept on region in, as a whole. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get the credit we deserve. I think part of the problem is that our good players keep moving. Like, <laughs> where are you at, Nintendo? We need you. But um. Still, we got Chillin, Chu, Red, uh, Milkman, people like that. Really solid players, even at the uh, the national level. 
And of course, Plank, you know, getting 25th at SmashCon beating Hugs. Definitely a good performance. Uh, I think that if, if Plank wow, traveled more, recovery. he would definitely be in the top 100. Uh, just a really good player. But you never see him in anything, you know? He gets the MDBA stuff, yeah, that's that, about that it. That might change, you never know. Hopefully. We'll see. I mean, I know he's very old school. He's been playing for, yeah. God, I don't even know, more than 10 years at least. Um, so maybe it's just his preference that he doesn't like going to nationals as much anymore. Who knows? You gotta do what, what keeps it fun, you know? The melee's all about having fun in the end. All right, but that, these guys... That, uh, that laser backwards was a read and a half. Yeah. <laughs> he just yeah. lasered the other way and caught him slip in there. All right, and that's a really quick... It was actually very even, like, 15 seconds ago, but Bones kind of a big combo, taking a quick stock. Uh, and it's been like he's playing pretty conservatively, just trying to get some stray shines, some laser damage in. Um, Ooh, coming to the ground like that as, as Falco is, you know... A Sheik player's dream, right? Yeah. He's coming down like that? Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, just being under Sheik as, like, any character is good. Sheik is not very good at coming down. Her down air doesn't have very much priority at all. I mean, grabbing the forward air from Bones, kind of wondering if that was definitely, on purpose or not. <laughs> definitely <Yeah>. unintentional. <laughs> like, um, well, the thing is, it's Ooh. actually, um, it's, as a space animal player, if you really want to go for an aerial from the ledge, it's better to go for fair than down air. Because even it's though the, faster, re the reward yeah. for dare is a little higher, it's just a lot safer to go for fair. Um, so it might have been him doing that too. That, being, really that sure. being said, he he jumped so high. Yeah, he, yeah. He went in so far to blank shield, but he just took that game up with a nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Solid stuff to there. burn so far, and going to um, battlefield. I wonder if this is because Plank likes the platform placements. That's this I is think a the great, main, um, great chic stage. Yeah. And also, Falco's going to have to recover a little bit more creatively because he can't really ride the stage up, and it's a little harder to sweet spot here. Um, so maybe some easier edge guarding from Plank. We're going to see some tech chases, hopefully making up for that early loss stock. And he's just made oh, it wow. back to even on that... Uh you know that exchange. Um, I, well, I mean, I think he's up. Bones well, he's up, up, but I'm stock. talking. I'm talking pure damage. Yeah. You know, missing one thing and getting shined. He got about 40 percent. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, it's looking like Bones' punish game is really solid right now. He's getting a lot of crisp wave lands, a lot of good follow-ups. Definitely looking really good. Um, possibly, you know, this is this could be Plank's last game of the tournament. He could go out in losers' quarters here, which would be pretty much a first for for Xanadu. Honestly, Plank's kind of the uh, the home favorite for. Just generally speaking, winning. But it could happen for sure. Not that counting out That being said, Tone's choosing some kind of erratic things off the ledge. Yeah. That could be yeah. really crucial later. And really good power shielding from uh, from Plank. Definitely trying to get... And I think a big part about power shielding that people don't talk about as much is that it convinces the Falco player that lasering isn't as good. Uh, if they aren't, you know, just going to guaranteed lock down the opponent every time, if there's a chance that they're going to get disrupted, then they might not want to laser as much. And that can give a good advantage to right. someone like Plank who wants to go in or who wants the Falco player to go in with an aerial. Especially if they're if they're kind of blindly going in with a mix-up. And you, it's your, on your terms instead of theirs. Yep. Oh, and this should be an edge guard. Yeah, definitely. Uh, really solid jumping there to catch the double jump from Bones. Going to even it up again. Uh, and takes the full set of needles, man, right to the face. He was right in front of him. You see a pretty bold throw from Plank, but it worked out. And honestly, it looks like he's just kind of sharking, um, trying to get Bones to approach. Um, but Bones did approach, and he gets in. Getting a solid combo here, about 37% or so. It's definitely a really back-and-forth game. Um, not looking quite like the other one. Pretty solid tech chasing. Oh, that, that could cost Ooh, him the, a lot. Yeah, the hard read, messing it up. Um, yeah, actually, it didn't cost him very much at all. That was, what, one throw? Maybe 10% damage? That was 20% or so. Yeah, yeah. And definitely Plank taking a solid lead here. Um, but this is definitely... Bones can bring this back for sure. Um, oh, man, that's... I feel like it's just a little bit of um, rough around the edges kind of play from Plank today. I really think that he thought he was going to grab the ledge. Like, and he then wasn't the very was close, kind of though, was he? He was, he was, like, at snap spacing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, and that should... Ooh, good recovery from Plank, actually. Going right to the ledge there, reading the get-up for Bones. Uh, it's ooh. actually... It's not as nearly as free edge-guarding Sheik as people think it is. You know, she doesn't have a good recovery by any yeah. means, but you actually can't just cover every single thing on reaction. That being uh, if said, the Sheik player knows what they're doing, knows all the mix-ups, it is pretty difficult. You can telegraph the the thing where you poof the one way and outwards. And this is a tie game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
This is an interesting tournament so far. Uh, it's good, it's good to prove very, very interesting. Oh, I'm missing the wave land there from Bones. Uh, looking to get some laser pressure right in, and he's got center stage really solidly here. He's kind of mutating shark in him right now, and he got through that, that was somehow. That was a really risky rising dare, but it worked <laughs> out for him. Oh, wow. That was that was extremely risky. That could have been the game right there. Uh, but he's still in it. Got a bit of a You lead. know that SDI to the platform was crucial in uh, not dying from Falco combos there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, SDI against Falco. I honestly think that Falco is just going to kind of drop on the tier list as a character. You know, not very far, but from second at least. The more people start to SDI little things in his combos. Um... It's a very underexplored area that I feel like only very top players are doing. With definitely with finesse, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now he's super edge high. Edgeguard scenario here. All okay. right. Wow. Plank out in losers' quarters. Ooh. It's unfortunate, but it is what it Not is. Not happy about Everybody that. Everybody has a bad tournament sometimes, right? You gotta just kind of know what you did, know what you did wrong, and then go into it with a good mindset again the next time. It's all you can do. So I think we have now Bones in loser semis. We have Obi playing somebody mm. in the end. Uh, that might be in loser semis. And then winner's finals, Hat versus uh, Peanut. Yeah, What's I think up? so. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you, dude. Wait, what happened? I just did back in the Oh, okay. Okay, so did you just see what happened there? Oh, I saw a Bones did a sick ass edge grab. Oh, yeah. And he was pretty clutch and he forced the. I saw Bones do some, some sick stuff uh, right at the end of there. I only saw game three. That was definitely. He definitely was so close to dying from a, just like a chic gimp there. Right, at the end. right. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I don't know. Bones is a really sick Falco. You know, he's the Falco to watch in this region for sure. Uh, Mike Melee was yeah, but was I, around I for a while. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him recently. Rip Mike Th Melee. That being said, I don't. I'm not totally sure if he lives around here when he's not at college. True. True. I mean, UMD about to get wrecked on the next PR period. You think so? Well. Peanut, Peanut just beat Obi, um, and Peanut Mike. is an exception. Okay, well what? SG SG's gone. gone. Yeah. Mike Melee gone. Yeah, especially because uh, probably Siren's going to be back on there. Oh yeah, Siren, super super god level god level talent. I really like that Siren is getting back in. I'm not. I'm trying to not expletive. Do you know? Do you know about PVP Live? I know about PVP Live. It's a place where you can get all of your news. Your scores, your highlights about various esports. This is not just melee. This is not just Smash Four. This is All League. This is Dota. This is Overwatch. Uh, she, and you can probably fighter? get other stuff too. Uh, absolutely. See some Street Fighter Five. I think the first time I ever heard of it was, uh, you know, actually for the Evo. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, but you know, six sponsor, and you know, it just gets esports in your hand, dude. Next, we have Soylent, right? So this is really cool technology. This is future stuff. This is you just need a bottle and some powder, and you can make yourself a full meal. No powder, but uh, close enough. Whatever. <laughs> My bad. I misremembered. But this is space food, guys. This is just something you can drink, and you'll get everything you need. That at a smash from a bottle, and there's no food around, kind of thing. Absolutely. When you don't want to eat McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> helps you stay healthy. Yeah. <laughs> helps you get everything you need. Fills you right up. Good stuff. And please remember, please subscribe to VG Bootcamp. Once again, VGBC is the heart of MDVA Melee and of MDVA Smash 4. Along with a pillar of the greater Smash community. How many events have you watched? Every weekend, dude. In Every weekend. Last weekend, you know, two weekends ago, three months ago. How many of those events have been streamed by VGBC? These guys do so much work to provide content to you. And if you just subscribe for $4.99 a month, you don't have to go to McDonald's once. You don't have to go out to eat once just to support these guys. You get ad-free viewing experience. You get cool badges. You get a sick badge next to your name, VGBC. You get emoticons, right? You see you see that chillin' emoticon? Yeah. Rep MDVA with that chillin' emoticon, you please. Show me your chillin' my, or your my bees right now. Show me your my bees. Uh, and you don't get slowed down in slow mode. You get PP thinking. Oh, PP. Crucial. Let's Crucial go. to any PP win. You can also follow uh, VGBC at 
Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, all slash VGBC, or with Twitter, at VGBC. Just look up VGBC on any of these websites, you'll find them. All creating good content, putting up tournaments, whether local MDVA events or nationals. Uh, you can get everything you need, so please subscribe to VGBC, help the MDVA scene, help the Smash scene as a whole. This is our next Losers Quarters match? Yes, and this is exciting. Watch versus Obi. Falco okay, cool. versus Ices. I've played this matchup many times being from MDVA. Um, a very Ices dense region. The top players so good at them. Uh, and I like this choice uh, to go to uh, Dreamland right away, right? Dreamland's second highest top platform in the game. Very Falco, hard. the highest full hop in the game. Very hard for Ice Climbers to commit to the top platform. Uh, but, you know, right here we have some of Japan's best, right? We have Watch, the ICs from Japan, representing his country thousands of miles away on the east coast of the United States. And Pretty we're going to see him yeah. put in work against Obi. Okay, we're seeing uh, Obi doing a good job of sort of focusing mana right now. He's doing a good job of splitting his attention between the two and not getting like overly focused on Popo or Nana, right? This is the stuff that you you love to do as P as like a PP laser kind of stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. Just harass the uh, ICs with lasers. Sort of create situations that are in your favor where you can sort of mix up. That's what Falco wants, right? He wants a mix up in his favor. Uh, that's in his combos, that's in his neutral game. That's in uh, everything he does. Nice up air right there from Wash though. Just catching. Oh. Catching Obi, jumping up to the top. Can assume platform. that he meant he knew how to do that. <laughs> yeah, he definitely knew that he was gonna ledge cancel. Obi actually a, uh, a god among us, a god amongst men. That's, once again, getting Nana to cover the uh, on ledge option, so he has a chance to get something else. So one of the things that's kind of crucial about this is uh, ICs are really scary to fight on the ground, right? And uh, Falco, I think, gets a real advantage from having a top platform in this matchup. Yeah, I'm really curious what, what uh, Watch banned over this stage. Mm -hmm. Because that top platform is pretty tall. It's not the tallest. I heard you say that. It's yeah, not. It's, no, I said it was the second tallest. Oh, okay. Battlefield's taller. Yeah. Um, there, again, it is hard to cover. Nice. I like how Watch always is making sure you have to respect him being on the ledge. Sort of like what Peanut was doing in a set right. earlier. Right. Where he's making it, you had to respect him on the ledge, right? Nice. And right there, Obi didn't go straight forward. He he, he made uh, the commitment to try to go to the ledge, and uh, Watch got the stock out of it. So lasers are extremely important in this matchup for, like, a lot of reasons. Now tell me what happens when Ice Climbers are at that next level when they're they're desyncing off the lasers. What are they what are they looking for? Uh, well, I assume that just having control in that situation, that's similar to, like, power shielding, right? Right. Where if you have control over it, it can be really powerful. But the lasers do desync them. So if you're smart, you can use that to sort of set up a blizzard approach, maybe get Nana to move forward, do something, right? You right. can absolutely do something. In a lot of cases, you can actually, like, say, put Nana in front of in front of Popo to get that forward movement with Popo first and then set up a blizzard afterwards, set up that desync. You don't have to worry about spot dodging, right? Obi's showing him that he's very composed, even in this matchup. There's three minutes of, like, pass it so far, and he's content and just camping this uh, top platform yeah, yeah. and only going in on his terms. That being said, Definitely just got getting hit by that, uh, that down smash he was not expecting. Definitely got smacked by Watch right there. <laughs> nice up airs. I'm liking how Watch is starting to cover the top platform, right? Because Obi's mostly just big chilling, right? He's mostly right. just hanging out on the top platform. So uh, Watch is definitely just putting out uh, some pretty safe up airs right there. Um, yeah. But and and the he is putting himself like way in the corner when he's shooting these lasers at yeah. times. No, I mean I've watched, I've done analysis on Obi, uh, and that's definitely one thing that I've noticed is a constant throughout um, him playing like a lot of characters. Right? Is that sometimes he will just put himself into the corner uh, to shoot the lasers instead of maybe using the lasers to establish uh, a better stage position. Right? Uh, right. It's so powerful just lasering in place sometimes. You don't always need to put movement into your lasers. That's one of the things that Drug Fox talks a lot about. He tweets a lot about it. That he doesn't think that um, Falco should just put a like random movement uh, in between their lasers. Watch respected the, the immediate side B off ledge so much there because it's invincible at the start. He knows about MDVA's habits, dude. Right. He's been here long enough. 
That was actually, like, I like that roll right there because it forced uh, Obi to prioritize on one of the Ice Climbers, right? And he, he got him to, like, go and fight Nana for a second, which could have given Popo an opportunity to get a grab, get a back, or get something. Still, Obi just with con control right now, right? Just hanging around that top platform, just waiting. So they need to do anything. I haven't seen one grab from, from uh, Watch such, so thus far in this game. It's because Obi's been playing so yeah. little round game. Oh, nice, uh, nice up air right there. Ooh. And as soon as Obi gets onto the ground, it's laser, 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 right? So it's very clear that he's sort of just trying to shut down any anything that um, that Watch wants to do. Nana's still alive. Oh, that, but that was a whopping like three percent, dude. That could be the difference. We've seen that Watch has a has a solid sopo. Let's see how he can do against these lasers. This is, this is he is definitely content on uh, just gonna wait him out. So where do you think we're gonna see next? I'm imagining that FD is gonna be banned because FD ban. Obi does not want to lose his platform. One of the game. small stages. Or or Pokemon. I think Pokemon's the best choice for uh, Watch. I played him on Pokemon um, when I was at the cave. Very very strong here. Uh, the the wide horizontal space I think really helps him out. Especially with the lack of a top platform. Yeah, especially because of how centralizing that was in Obi's playstyle in this last game. Absolutely. So let's see how Obi adapts. That's going to be, I think, the, the most interesting thing to look at in this game. How how not having a top platform changes it. I think that um, if uh, if uh, Watch is able to win this game, right, I think that that should really go into his calculation, his, his what, what where he bans. Because Battlefield has the highest top platform in the game. It's higher than Dreamlands. Um, well, in a best of in a best of three, you can't go back to Dreamland if he bans. Yeah, yeah. And so if he bans Battlefield, then it's a good scenario. Good situation. For yeah. So I mean, I think that we're gonna end up seeing Yoshi's are found if Watch wins this. Oh. Now, one, so Shine is such a strong move against ICs from both uh, both ICs. Wow, good read. Very well timed there. Yeah. It's definitely like. That entire stock, though, I, I definitely felt that uh, Obi was making a lot of the right decisions. Hmm. How so? He knew when to he knew when to come in and knew when to space them apart with the uh, bear nice. shine and interrupt them with lasers. True. It's good uh, of Obi not to like rush and get the uh, the immediate wall tech because I think that could have gotten hit by the uh, uh, down smash right there. Once again, using these these lasers to screw up the wave dash movement of Ice Climbers. Falco is really, really powerful character against wave dash characters. Samus, Luigi, you know, those types of characters, Ice Climbers as well. Uh, just because of how his laser locks down uh, the uh, grounded movement of characters uh, and can force people to jump. Um, very, very potent tool in his, uh, his uh, repertoire. That, that was a crucial tech chase that, that Watch just missed there. Yeah, sorry about that. Just a little bit sluggish after some of these mm. these confirms. See that roll desync right there? He used a shield stun on the laser to get Nana to roll and put out some pressure. Uh, just some spacing on the uh, on the backers right now. Watch really trying hard to keep Obi in the corner whenever he goes into the corner. Um, ooh. Nice back air. Look, look at him cut off all those zones. He really looks like he understands what Watch wants to do. And it makes me feel like Obi's really prepared for this matchup, right? Right. right. Like he know, he looks like he knows what he's doing. It looks like he knows how he wants to approach Ice Climbers, where he wants to be. He's never really spacing close to Ice's unless he's at like a distinct advantage, right? Nice. And that's a set. That's a real setup. Right. Uh, that'll work on any of the stages with really low ceilings. Because have. Nana DI's the same way every time, correct? Yeah. 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 I think it, it just depends on which part of the shine you hit them with. Uh, right. There are three distinct parts of the shine on either side of Falco, um, and uh, uh, it's kind of like really important to know where you hit with a shine to uh, follow up off of it well. Just chilling. Ices are always chilling, dude. That's why they have, the, they have the park on. Looking at power shield. That's why he's crouching. Ices not the too best low a percent though. to be going for some of that jab shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obi knows better. It's like 
I mean, it's hard to be, like, this is one of the strongest regions against Ice Climbers in the world. Definitely. If not the strongest, maybe. Um, like, just in, like, general player knowledge of how to deal with oh, the that was a that was some great lasering to keep yeah, yeah. the Icy's exactly where he wanted him. Because it, uh, it forced Watch to stay above them, to, and then he had to fall right after uh, the, the move ended. Right into the back air. And Watch is just like sort of like getting desperate, it feels like. Yeah, I definitely can feel that. He's really he's looking for like a straight hit, anything right now. Just a oh my gosh. Um just anything, like there's definitely a difference in composure between these two players, right? Like, he definitely hasn't established the fear of grab. Like, I haven't sure. seen even a grab once this entire game. He might be dead here. No. Okay, never mind. But Nana looking hard, looking rough. Obi just, just destroyed Nana with lasers right there. Zoning. Now let's see how good, if he does get a grab, let's see how good he can tech chase his Falco. I Ooh. would be ex extremely impressed if uh, Watch was able to win from this scenario. Did you see the the water transformation actually stole the grab from him? Uh, he, he was, was too the, high. He's on, yeah, yeah, yeah on the thing. Yeah, yeah, it would be looking really solid there. Just really demonstrated his uh, understanding of the Falco Ices matchup, right? Right now, um, th now it's just an MDBA local. There's no more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's no more Japanese players in the tournament. Yeah, I mean. That's uh he he just went through both Japanese players real quick. Uh uh he beat Zoma and then went right into uh watch. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the the match versus Zoma? No, I didn't. He played two games on on FD, which I I'm very confused why he allowed that uh Mewtwo versus Falco on FD, but he locked him down and uh you know, it came down to the punish game. To be honest, like he just couldn't he just couldn't punish hard enough. Didn't get enough uh, edge guards when he needed them. Zoma. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, Obi was looking really solid, putting the hitboxes in the right spot during Mewtwo's recovery, really punishing him for being that huge colossal character. Yeah, that's one of the the better things about Fal uh, Falco, right? Is that um, it's a if you know how to fight, you if you have a general strategy for low tiers, right? Uh, in mid tiers, it tends to work, even at higher level in higher level. Uh, sets and matches, right? Yeah, it, it came to, down to the fact that he could not approach. He just right. Couldn't. Okay, we're going to be seeing Peanut Phobia versus Hat. Uh, and this is uh, Winner's Finals, guys? Yes. Uh, winner's Finals. Wow. Peanut Phobia in Winner's Finals with quite a run, if I do so to myself. Yeah, definitely. Obi, Plank, and now he runs into Hat. I, one big boon to uh, Peanut in this tournament is that he's very he, he has struggled for a long time fighting Bones. Yeah, so uh, and I just want to say on the strike here um, that Hat loves Yoshi's. So you have to consider that. Um, I think he just banned it. I think mm -hmm. Peanut just banned it. That being said, you, you don't want to you don't don't want to take away a stage that you also like. True, true, true. I'm not surprised to start on Battlefield. That's where uh, he started most most of his set so far. Wow, he misses the chain grab. It's uh, impressive to me that Peanut was able to recover after the controller malfunction. Right. Can you see over there if he's using the orange controller still? No, it's silver. Okay, so that's this is not his normal controller. Uh, very impressive, especially with how shield drop dependent Peanut is, right? Well, just because yeah. of Yoshi. Uh, well, and that's tears. very controller dependent. Oh. Nice job from Hat right there, just grabbing the ledge though, knowing that Ryoshi can't get back after taking that double jump. MDVA also pretty good against Yoshi. <laughs> yes. I mean, we're fortunate to have one of the best Yoshis in the world here. So we know some of the the strange. Kind of a questionable up. forward smash by Peanut getting punished for it continually right now. Ooh. He knew about that shield drop. Nice too. read on the shield drop, yeah. Wow, Hat playing impressively right now. Wow, nice shield drop from Peanut though. I believe the reason that Hat is using Nair so much here is because it does the most damage. Mm. It gets him out of the oh, double no. jump armor percent earlier. Misses the uh, the egg throw right there. Uh, 
and we're not seeing the uh, the reeds ro like come out from Peanut yet, right? But he lost. Wow, that was a great what? up air. What? Just taking him right out of out of armor. Wow. Yeah. Hat with the matchup knowledge. <laughs> I can only assume How? that he was taking a minute to think about <laughs> this matchup right now up on the top right. platform. Right. Looking very dominant. He just gave he just gave up on the match. That was rough. Peanut right. Excuse me, rough that, peanut that last right there. stock, I, I couldn't even tell you. I, I just, wow. I wonder where he's gonna go. What the uh, what the counter pick's gonna be? Oh no, I don't. I don't want to see a character switch. Oh, he's gonna ditto him. That's what I would expect, but I I don't think that hat or planker is somewhere that you should be chic dittoing. Yes. Uh. He does have a Marth, but I don't know. He does have a Marth. Happy. Okay, this is uh, a decent pick. This is a decent pick. I don't know. Wow. Well, I just played Hat in this matchup, and he's really good at this matchup as well. I'm not I mean, with Plank with such a strong Marth, right? Uh, he's been practicing a lot lately. I'm sure that Hat gets a lot of experience with that. Um, he knows when the Marth wants to double jump, so if, if uh, Peanut is not ready for, for those kind of scenarios where you have to either take a hit or jump, he's going to read them. Nice. I would have loved to see that down air connect right there. So I think this you is actually have to go even further down. Really? Yeah. Just to make sure that uh, the like the few frames of vulnerability in the vanish get hit. Yeah. Interesting. Nice and air right there. Ooh, combos. Oh. That backer oh, would have try to get him off sick. stage. I mean, I wonder how much practice Peanut has in this match. Wow. Uh, I don't know what Plank was going for there. Or Hat. I'm Hat is Plank, by the way. Hat is Plank, by the way. Uh, so, I don't know what uh, what uh, Hat was going for right there, but he definitely got tippered right out of it. Uh, Peanut Phobia making a real good use of, uh, of Nair right now. And kind of did him like, like there, there's, a, there's a sentiment in the melee community that approaching Nair is always bad, which I don't think is the, the case 100% of the time. In right? this matchup, I would say it's a lot more situational. Absolutely. Just approaching with an aerial versus Sheik is so dangerous because of crouch cancel. Crouch cancel, and crouch cancel down tilt, crouch cancel grab. Nice from Plank right there. I'm having a bad day, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. That was really nice. See, he, he almost just knew that the, the DI was going to be in there. Right, right, right. And it, of course, it's guaranteed, right? So it's. It's a rough time for this uh, this Marth. Mm. Wow, he just spot dodged that dash attack. It was uh, next next level stuff. He knew. Yeah, and he lagged him on the needles too. <laughs> next level strats, dude. Camping behind your needles is not like a bad bad. Not decision. a bad idea. Yeah. I mean, with a character who's about uh, you know ca like anti approaching which, and, and zoning, which Sheik is, it's nice to have those little traps, right? Those little like things that can mess up your L cancels to get the grab. Ooh. Now the commitment on that shield breaker gave him back neutral, or gave him back center stage, sorry. Just the, the raw down smash. So I think that. So he actually just already has the read on that. I think it's fair that Peanut pulled his uh, Marth out. I think I just set. heard an up B. I I think he just tried to, like, shore you him out of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of the. Like the death combo, but it didn't work. Rip. Because the sound comes out frame one, but. Yeah, the, yeah. The move comes, comes out frame five. Interesting. I knew this sound came out before the move, but I didn't realize it was frame one. See, Marth does have a frame one move. Yeah, frame run cry. <laughs> I still think this is like not a terrible idea for Peanut to do this. Maybe in the, in the future, I don't know. Oh, nice. Nice grab. Very nice ledge grab. <laughs> Hat thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I, Hat, I've, I've spoken nice to grab, many nice times. Grab. See, in that same area players. where you down throw, uh, Sheik off the stage. That's like the, the time where you can get those those down airs that are not expected. What do we have here? Interesting forward kill. Yeah, um, and choosing to end the combo, and uh, that's gonna be really hard to recover. Still, like, you know, Peanut has losers right now. Yeah, y using those needles as insurance because he was going to be dead if he sh uh, grabbed earlier, but he just wanted to make sure he could get there before he could. he did. I think we're gonna be seeing Falco. Good stuff to Hat now in Grand Finals, and definitely Falco Ditto's Bones versus. Obi, have you ever seen the Falco Ditto versus those two? Peanut considering just 
changing the triggers out in his old controller so that they still work. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting so. thing about uh, Peanut's controller that he uses, he actually takes out the X button out of his controller so that he never presses it to double jump. I think that's really interesting. That's very yeah, and um, so that actually could matter, you know, when you're using a controller that's not your own, just because you don't even usually have that button sitting there. Mm. Not to John form, just to, just to add that uh, extra facet of information. Yeah, I mean, it might even like you know, get in your head a little bit, right? Because it's like uh, now it's like you have to be yeah. mentally aware that you can't press the X button. Yeah, he might even slide his butt his hand over that exact spot when he usually uses the controller. Right, right, right. Oh, is is a uh, is Bones gonna go his Marth? Like, that's no. always an option. That's no. That's actually always an option. I want to see a sick Falcon. Though. That's going to be fun. Obi versus Bones. I haven't seen this matchup live before. I'm sure it's been played many times, though. Uh, and I am definitely fine with this. Obi, really sick movement. Uh, come out from this Falco. A lot of discipline. A lot of risk. From Obi? Yeah, from Obi. A lot of discipline. Um, a lot of matchup knowledge. Really one of the up-and-coming... MDBA players right now. Uh, and that's like the awesome thing about this region right now is there's a lot of mid level players on the come up. Right. Um, I mean, that, I think that's uh, scene wide, right? Because mm. we're, we're ripe for the time when uh, like all these people who are getting into the stream, like getting into the scene because of things like the documentary, the right, donation right. drive, uh, you know, even some of the tournaments that, it, that have in Evo. Like now that it, now's the time when these players are, are going to start begin becoming relevant. Right, right, right. Because it's about two years in. <laughs> Falco did a Yoshi story, no hand warmers, let's go. Never mind. No, hand this is looking a lot like a hand warmer. Never mind, hand warmers. My okay, bad. neutral Falco is Obi and the Ender, White Falco, Bones. Huh. Randall definitely uh, saving your boy, Bones, right there. The accidental SD. Having a ledge dash off right now. Unfortunately, like, the extent of my matchup knowledge in this matchup is. Limited. Is that, yeah. Is that you, you want to. If they're the ones who have the control of the laser game on the ground, you want to somehow force the laser game up into the air until you can yep. get the laser game on the ground again. A lot, a lot of times is uh, if they have you locked down with lasers, you're looking for a full hop, you're looking for yeah. um, uh, just just for something to get out. We move on to platforms to force them to move upwards, uh, just to disrupt their laser, their laser timing, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, get control back over the ground. Um, something's very important in this matchup. Um, this is a matchup more than any other is one you need to maintain laser control in. It's very, very important to make sure that you can do anything. Laser, the, the laser game from Obi was really impressive both in, versus both of the Japanese players. So uh, I'm curious to see, see how he can do it in this Falco Ditto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, very small space, right? So laser's going to be a little less of a, a, little less of a Going thing. for the jump laser and uh, mm. Bones chooses correctly and now he's in control. Wow. Gets the janky hitbox on the down smash there. And that's this is all coming from winning the laser the laser game, right? He gets an 80, right. 83 percent punish. Nice slide um, off. He's back in control of his own like situation now. So a lot of uh, the the laser game is about reading up and up like high laser versus low laser. Uh, low laser you jump over. Uh, high laser you uh, run under. Um, and uh, low laser beats run under, right? right? So it's like a little RPS that you're playing constantly. Uh, trying to get a read on your opponent, read on how they use projectiles, very important. See a lot of like wave lands off and stuff from uh, from phones. Uh, likes to use wave lands a lot for his movement to put out hitboxes to do whatever. Interesting, um, like in the current year, now that people are so consistent with wow. power. Wow, uh, nice. That was like a triple shine of nuts. Oh, and but Obi still got that. Impressive. What I was saying is now that people try to ledge dash every single time, you see a lot more tournament winners, and yeah, he got yeah, punished yeah. a couple times for that already. That was a great sequence from Obi right there. Mm. Obi again being the neutral Falco. Okay. Obi showing his own pressure. Nice shine out of shield. Uh, yeah, nice shine out of shield from Bones. Sort of does a, uh, an, air, an aerial shine and gets the double jump instead of like the regular, uh, the regular short hop, so jumps away from that. Uh, Bones with corner control right now. Uh, tried to ledge guard uh, Obi, but puts himself in the corner instead. Crouch castle shine. Wow, nice slide off back air. Definitely caught him slipping. Just enough DI to get back on the stage, though. Yeah, and like little shield tricks along with shield drops are like so. They can do. They can mean so much. Right? Look at him dancing around right now. Wow. Oh, Thank he you. caught. A, he caught the MBA slipping. Oh my God. Got the wall tech. Oh, this is sick. This is a. This is a good Already Falco knew. to do so far. He knew. Oh, that hit! Wow. Yeah. Falco's mohawk goes so high, dude. Oh, really? Is yeah, that what it is? It's Falco's mohawk. 
It has a hurt box. You don't think that that would have hit Fox, right? No. Uh, okay. Well, it depends. Okay. Uh, I don't well, know. that's all I really need to hear about it. I'm just curious. But it was more. It's more likely to have hit uh, Falco than Fox. Nice back air shield right there. Jockeying for uh, laser control right now. Looks like the recovery game is is proving really important for Bones, keeping himself alive a little bit longer. Yeah. Than Obi, but here we are, essentially tie game. Well, in this in this mirror match, right, uh, the the punish is so hard. <laughs> if you get shined once, you can get like 80, 90, or death, real easy. So being able to squeeze out any extra percent in the stock you can get is super important because you get one more opportunity to get a combo. Obi just standing up out of shield there. Cool. Nice shorten from Obi right there. Make sure he didn't get uh, picked up by that up tilt. Yep, goes to the ledge. Um, honestly, like, just going to the ledge can be really strong. Because uh, a lot of people, like, are a little preemptive with their uh, edge guard and expect you to go up so they don't. And they just, like, get off the ledge to, like, back air or something. Oh, right? this is this huge. Uh, stand laser. Deceptive DI there. I think that Bones really got out of that just because of how good his DI was. Like, the last oh, hit. wow. Randall. Screwed that Randall is there. Bones. Randall is there. Okay. Randall just screwed Obi over Bones into, help, into helping him. Yeah. Obi didn't consider that, but it, he did clean it up, so it's fine. Absolutely. Nice upper right there. I really like using um, up air as like an anti approach as Falco, because it can catch like if you're on a platform and they jump in to get an aerial on you, or uh, like if they full hop to get an aerial on you, it can just sort of perfectly place that like an like an anti approach option type stuff. Okay. No, they both sh shown the Ada shine out of wow. shield card. He just just uh, tech that first shine into an, his own shine. Obi really playing impressively right now. He is showing like real control over, uh, you know, a player of the caliber of Bones. Nice. Is that done? Wow. No, he knew. Oh. The jab. The jab saying, hey, buddy, I want you to stay alive. I want to chill out. The homie, the homie yeah. jab, dude. Probably looking for. Oh, oh no. no. That just sucks. To be of honest. all the ways to end that match, I, I have to say that was that was probably the worst. Definitely. The Falcopter just off the stage, dude. Falcopter? The Falcopter. <laughs> Apparently we're not talking to each other, Kyle. <laughs> I'm just kinda just kinda thinking about it right now. Uh, you know, we're we're using the game to link our minds together to speak our that minds. That was a really good that was really good Falco did other than that last moment. Yeah. See, I did think that he was gonna pull out that Marth. No, that's Wait, Obi. that's Obi's Marth. Never huh. seen Obi's Marth. I have never seen this before. This is very interesting. Bones very good at this matchup. Okay, Bones definitely knows that forward throw any percent not guaranteed to another forward throw. Yeah, you can just uh, buffer roll out of it. Yeah, or dash away, or do anything. Hot dodge. Wow, did you see that power shield? That was really fast. Yeah. See, the immediate jump too to get that nair, keep the pressure on him. Didn't fast fall that nair quite fast enough to get a follow up on it. I feel like this wow. might this might be Bones' best matchup. Uh, I would agree. I mean, Bones has really excellent like like you're seeing his lasers right now, right? Yeah. Um, and you know he has the good knowledge. You know, you always low laser against Marth, and the Ooh. big God caught that second dang. that second laser caught on a read. Yeah, a lot of just what, uh, Falcon player things. A lot of what this. Um, this matchup is is locking down Mars' movement on the ground and making him jump because he's really weak in the air. Uh, one of the reasons that it can be so difficult for Marth uh, against Falco is that all of Falco's combo moves send him up, uh, and it's very difficult for Marth to get down uh, after he's up in the sky. See, I would call like a lot of Ooh. Falco's combos just a check to Marth. It puts him in a terrible spot no matter what happens. Yeah, absolutely. And also returning to, to neutral versus Falco is, is difficult once you're off, already off stage. Well, it's it's just uh, it's such See, a constraining. He's, he's magic, not right? grabbing enough. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice grab. Now that he finally has the read on the gra on the movement. Sometimes you just don't want to play that card too early, right? Oh wow, nice stuff from Bones. Knew about that. Crouch cancel very powerful against Marth. Um, just because. Not a good double jump there. There. Mm. Nice. Yeah. All right, d dead space yeah, here. Yeah. I mean, Obi. He seems to have good knowledge in this matchup. Sort of uh, taking advantage of uh, the, the power of Marth on FD with good punish. Ooh, excellent fadeaway there. He actually just avoided the, the foyer completely. That was great. 
Uh, Bones tried to jump over his own laser there, but because he moved backwards with his laser, he still got caught by it. Nice. Okay. Bones got comboed. Ooh. Nice. Good read. That was a read on the double jump to the ledge. Yeah, Mars Some double jump there. Very, very prone to getting hit. I mean, that can just be like... Uh, okay, Bones. The pressure from Bones... The pressure's been, on. ...been really, really nice. Oh, and he's getting that 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 skittle size shield right now. Very difficult for Marth to uh, sort of play defense right now. He has to nice wave dash back into grab. I mean, what do you think uh, about Marth on this stage as a Marth player? Like, Ooh. How, how Gotta be careful with the double dunk there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That reverse. It's like, when do you think Marth should be going to this stage? At what, at, like, at what level when you can just when you can just uh, reliably get get enough grabs and also nice. chain grab well enough. That was good stuff from Ovi right there. That was yeah, really nice out. dunk. Just, uh, throwing him into the uh, into the depths. Okay. Obi knowing, I guess now, that that Bones knows that you can spot dodge the forward throws, three down throws, because uh, the chain grab does, doesn't actually work at zero. You have to get the 10% from Falco, otherwise uh, you can no, drag behind. 10%? I don't know about 10%, but the, the first grab is not guaranteed on another grab. I believe it's 10%. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. I, I would have looked for an up tilt right there, so I really like Obi's uh, decision to uh, to downer there uh, to counter that up tilt, right? Yeah. Oh, is this over? Dash attack? Oh, it's over. Dash attack? No, it's not. Oh, you're right. Dash attack with Marth, definitely a use sparingly move in this matchup. Can be a lifesaver at times. Oh, wow. With that the MDVA. Great wall wow, good stuff. That was such a clutch wall jump from Bones right there because it gave him the invincibility to get up, 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 up above the ledge. He yeah. read the commitment that Obi was going to go for a forward smash there. Yeah, maybe and a little bit of ma matchup inexperience because I've seen him. Uh, I, I see Bones do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, then again, it's hard to cover, especially when you're not a... Uh, Thank you for coming out. Def definitely when you're not a Marth player, it's a little bit harder to cover in the, the normal. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. The Japanese so, players are heading out. Zoma right now. and Watch are heading out. If any of you guys are interested in going to Japan and finding the melee scene there, follow Watch underscore SSBM and ask him uh, about where you can find everything. He'll be glad to help you. Uh, really is interested in the growth of the MDV or uh, the growth of the MDV uh, the Japanese the scene. The Japanese scene. I'm I am having problems today problems today so we're going to okay. see uh another falco yoshi match okay. today in the the soap opera that is peanut phobia's controller he now is using the orange one again and i believe he switched the triggers out for new ones so that they wouldn't light shield so he, he, de <laughs> he definitely got triggered that yoshi trigger life when when you when you light shield with yoshi when that's a problem for you that actually is like paramount because imagine the mental you can't damage. jump out you can't imagine jump out. the mental damage that that stuff does. Yeah, having controller problems during a tournament is, is just the worst. Wait, are we seeing Marth? I know this is their, this is the Losers Finals matchup, but I have no idea. So one thing that's uh, notable about this particular per like, like person matchup, right, is that Peanut loses to Bone at Xanadu a lot. Oh yeah, and he he'll get like double eliminated by Bones a lot. Bones knows a lot about Yoshi. He knows the matchup very well. Definitely and one of those guys that you see his name on Smash boards, you know, in every thread. Every single thread, dude. Even in like the for you, for you youngins, Smash boards is a thread where people uh, can file thread. information. Like it's, on the it's, internet. it's one thread. It's a, it's a forum. It's a forum. Yeah. It's a forum. We're seeing the the first ever four stock of uh, Bones by Pinotopia live right here. All right, he's gonna pull a muck duck on him. Oh, that's one uh, zero. It's, it's real, dude. That's a one zero. Yo, I just four stock bones on stream. <laughs> so this is a very impressive run from but, Peanut. But on the real, he's uh, he's just testing his controller. True. I mean that's reasonable, right? Yeah. Like I would be going ham on uh, on this on this setup right now, trying to make sure my controller was perfect. Right. I'm not trying to deal. <laughs> With uh, with uh, with random rolls as a Yoshi player. He's pulling out the cut attack. Oh no, he's got a new tag. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Logic Dynasty is going Marth, and Peanut gave the the most confusing like nod, no, and yes. Like I uh, guess so. I guess I'm going Marth. I can't answer that question. <laughs> I'm going A character. It's down. Come on. It, the the fly tag's down, Peanut. It's down. It's I like, saw it. It's like 20% of the way down. There. All right, that, the crucial tags before you. Play it's the really match. important yeah. mentally, right? Turn it off. Pause. So Making he's sure. going Marth because of his controller. Right. Um, it doesn't really make sense because if he's gonna shield nonstop, he's gonna do whether he's Marth or Yoshi. No, yeah, it does. It Yoshi. does make sense because Yoshi can't jump out of a shield, and it's terrible. Like. So he's just gonna recognize worse. it and then jump out. <laughs> but like, as far as things go, it's not as bad as with any other character than it is with Yoshi. Or you know. But here we go. Hey, he says for the moment. I mean, like I said, Peanut Phobia has struggled uh, against Bones um, in particular in the past, so maybe this change of character will really help. That was really like super sick, actually. So this is one of like the classic melee matchups. This is one of the best matchups in the game. Mark Falco. And we're gonna see uh, maybe a full oh. set of it. Just last game of the last set. Yep. Do a full set of this game. Is this one game? It's a full set. Maybe we'll, well see you never happens. know. You never know. Nice. Good awareness from him. Uh, All right. You know, right there. See, if a person does that more than once, you just got to call them out. If, you, if they do that spot dodge or that air dodge thing. So just forward smack the first jump. Try well, you can just you can just uh, call it out with, right. with whatever you want. Okay. Now he's at a percent where up throw is per perfectly reasonable. There you go. Whoa! What was that DI? Was that smash Did he hit the DI? ground? Did he hit the I ground? I have no idea what happened there. That was nuts. Never seen that. Oh my god. Oh, got the meteor cancel. If he died from that though, imagine what uh, is going on damage. in melee right now. Who knows, dude? There's some things happening. Nice forward smash from Peanut right there. Covering the only uh, recovery option Falco has. If that were Fox, he'd have to cover like 30, but. It's Falco. Trying to do the Smasher and down cell right there. Just doing a little bit of character and familiarity. Uh, Peanut now copying Bones, air dodging onto stage. I wonder Whoa, that was a great laser reset there. Mm. What is he? Okay. Yeah. Having his own like light shield problems there. That would be awful. Uh, Peanut looks pretty distressed in the player camp right now. I don't know exactly what's going on. I oh think my he's God, testing it. I think again? that's what he's happening. Did it happen again? This is screwed up. This I think he's really just gonna important. play it out. I know when this happened to me at Pound, I just played it out. Yeah, there, uh, right there, uh, that was a nice shorten from Bones. But if uh, we'd seen a double jab come out from Peanut, he would have been able to cover it. Right there, he he power sh or he crouch canceled an aerial into a uh, forward smash, where he could have grabbed. Not looking the greatest. He's actually just giving up on all these stocks. I mean, I imagine that it's kind of frustrating, right, with the controller problems. So you feel like you can't play your main. Um, right. You don't know when it, when the controller problem is going to come out, so it's occupying your mind, distracting you. Uh, and then you have, you know, a, a person you've had trouble with in the past with, with yeah. bones, and it's like all these factors coming in to sort of. Unfortunately, uh, he's like probably you know. even better at this matchup than against Yoshi. Yeah. You nearly got him. <laughs> Unfortunate. I know it's timing based, but sometimes when you hit that uh, that Falco illusion, it just doesn't feel right when it goes right through your your aerial. Yeah, you yeah. see it connect. Well. All right. Looking like he's out of character crisis on the character This would like never scene. happen with a Mad Cat controller. Shoutouts to you, yeah. uh, Kokaloo. <laughs> that's that's funny. Yeah, because Mad Cat's controllers have never failed. Not in the clutch. Not, not when it's the, really they've important. They've never happened. Never when it's important. In the most important. clutch moment. They've never failed. Never. Not once. Okay. So I wonder what we're going to see from Peanut right now. Is he going to stay with Marth? Really having his moment. Okay. Really? Yep, changing the tag away. See, I actually haven't seen him play his Zelda in like a year. Zelda? Or this is this is Zelda. This is Sheik. Same character. Whatever. Haven't seen him pull up this character in tournament in quite a long, long time. time. Long time. This is, I would say, his like second best character. It was. I think his Marth might be better now. Maybe nowadays, but for wow, a long time. Wow, that was a great nair from Bones right there. I mean, you can get so much just by like tapping Sheik off the stage just to make her get into, uh, get far enough away from ledge to have to grab it. Right. Um, or just Ooh, go on stage. He didn't. He didn't pull the trigger on those needles. Ooh. 
I kind of like that delay from Peanut, though, right there. The, that's the equivalent of, like, dropping your wallet, but just with Sheik Recovery there. <laughs> he just, like, he had his face facing the other direction so he couldn't grab the ledge, and he didn't needle turn around. So he actually just kind of got dumpstered. Yeah, that does happen. Ooh, that was crazy. Like, reverse fo uh, fa uh, portal. Ooh. Wow. Brutal. I mean, this just looks tough for Peanut right now. See, uh, you gotta feel for him. Peanut sometimes, he doesn't realize like, how good he is with his main, and he's definitely having a little bit of a trouble right now. Like, keeping him inside, inside of his own like mental state. You can see him shaking no every single time after he gets hit or anything like that. And uh, in, in contrast, you can see Bones laser focused, right? Absolutely. Nothing's distracting him right now. Right. That's the one one thing he always listens to music while he plays, and like that's a good way to like unlock your like meditation state, right? Mm. Get get into that was uh, almost a, like a sick ledge grab into a follow up there. True, true. All right, Peanut with the sigh of relief because he finally got a kill. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that was really really cool. If he he might have been able to like Fair. sneak a back air in Maybe. there. Who knows? I think he still has double jump, right? No, he may have used it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Getting locked down right now. Absolutely. I mean, I'm and, not. And you can see, you can see like, unfortunately, this isn't his main character because he's he's not getting those short hop uh, nears out of shield and. Yeah. Ooh. That's just you know that's, that's not what you want to see. Hate to see that. That's definitely not what you want to see. Um, like good stuff to Bones though. Getting into uh into uh, grand finals. And not every week do you see Peanut in grand finals. Or in winner's finals. Winter, in winner's finals or loser so, finals. Right. So unfortunately, like, yeah. the, the troubles with the controller kind of kept him from keeping it respectable in either of those matches. But, uh, you know, he'll be back next week and hopefully he's fixed his controller. Absolutely. Maybe get a new one. Who knows? I don't know. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to dip. Oh, you are? Where are you going? I don't know. I'm, do some, I'm playing friendly for something. I'm just like too mentally drained. I want to do good commentary, but I feel like mentally drained right now, so I don't want to give bad we'll commentary find, to the chat. We'll find find two other people who can do it. Yeah, I got you. He he wants to do the homemade wa waffle self commentary. I'd be I'd be down to see what Bones thinks. In a match. <laughs> yeah, this is Grants. All right, quiz back back on the mic. What's up, guys? <sighs> Looks like I'm back up in this thing. Just in time for grand finals. A reminder to follow if you haven't on Twitch, Facebook, VG Bootcamp, Twitter, and YouTube. Yeah. Definitely the Twitch and the YouTube. They post all the all the videos of all the matches for the, the big tournaments, and also to subscribe to VGB Bootcamp, get those nice emotes over there, have PP thinking over there, ad brief, ad brief viewing experience, a cool badge next to your name, and you don't get slowed down. And Soylent, which I learned just today, hmm. is a good way to not get a headache in the middle of a tournament. Really, what is a Soylent? Do you know? Can you tell us about this Soylent. Logic. So Soylent is not just simple nutrition and affordable, but it's um it's actually a meal replacement. Um, you just kind of open one up, drink it. TK likes to do them before he streams, kind of wakes him up a bit. But it gives you all your nutritional needs for that meal, um, and it's only 400 calories. So you know, oh that's nice. You get to stay nice for the ladies, nice. or guys, because we don't discriminate here at VG Bootcamp. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely consider it, considering how long some of these tournaments are. And, yeah, you know, honestly, it's I try Sometimes really inconvenient to get out to a. You get some food or, you know, pack your own food. Yeah, I, I did get 49th at SmashCon, and I did drink some soy hey, as one of hey, my meals. that is a direct correlation right there, people. Listen I don't to this think guy. I'm 49th skill-wise. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, man, I got a boost. So. <laughs> it's that soy lint. You heard it here first. And then we have PvP Live, where you can learn new scores for your esports needs, not just Smash 4 or Melee, but also, uh, you know, Dota, League, League anything that you're interested in. Um, we don't have all the other slides up, but, you know, follow Gimmer, VGBC underscore Gimmer on Twitch, 
Twitter, YouTube. YouTube. All of his stuff is that. His Instagram, his Snapchat, his Twitter, those are the most important ones. Um, his brother, the co-founder of VG Bootcamp, his Twitter is VGBC underscore Apostle. And you can follow me, first behind the scenes, at Xanadu at Logic underscore VGBC. And you can follow Paper Tiger. Um, I don't know why it's not up right now, but you'll at least be able to see his face at Charging My B. <laughs> like the like the shield breaker and quist yeah i actually you have a, you don't have a, twitter? have a twitter nope i am stuck in the 90s a i gotta do it eventually i don't know i'm just lazy honestly like yeah, I, le I really like twitter for for at least uh like smash yeah, and all that kind yeah. of stuff seems like it'd be nice to follow people i don't know i kind of just read tweets that are posted on smash bros like a plebeian like our smash bros yeah yeah the subreddit oh okay but yeah, I, I should just buy definitely the some and good make stuff, one. especially at nationals. Everybody's all over the place, yeah. especially yeah. on Twitter. I think they're ready nice. though. All right, we so got, we got Hat Falco Bones Sheik. Grand Finals. Um, Hat forgetting to change from Zelda. Interesting starts. No, uh, it's the button warmer. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen Bones play without a button warmer. Yeah, it makes sense. Very technical, but uh, still, still, I don't know. I, I'm kind of divided when it comes to hand warmers because uh, it's good to see that people are getting the kind of tech skill that needs hand warmers, but it's also a little annoying, you know, for the viewer. See, see it, uh, that that is true, but um, some things in your on your controller they are seemingly random, like your shield drop angle, and um, at least for me, like pivoting. Sometimes when I put it, my controller just just so. It doesn't feel like it, you can pivot every time, so uh, I definitely check it every time. Well, for me, it's not so much about like what the input is; it's about like making sure that I'm ready for it. You know, that I'm like in the game and my fingers are doing what I want them to do. Right. Get that by practicing. So. Yeah. That being yeah. said, over 30 seconds of hand warmers, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit much. But when you're getting to the point where this is grand finals of the, of the tournament, I mean, it's it's acceptable. All right, so I guess we're going into this then. Yoshi's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, do you know if Hat's the favorite here? I, I think he is. Uh, Hat might be slightly higher, high, higher rank, and yeah. he, of course he's in winners. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point too. But this is uh, a best of three entire tournament, so um, it's not going to be as big of a deal to take two sets as it would be in most tournaments. Um, still, definitely, you know, not easy though. Not easy at all. And we got a strong start from Bones here, just uh, getting the combos, and more importantly, ooh. That was not punish not choosing to punish that uh yeah kind of close a little bit a little bit sketchy um but he's bouncing back and luckily for him he did not take any uh, any stock deaths from that so he's still ahead percent uh getting interesting up air follow ups uh Sheik isn't exactly a character that is known for dying off the top but uh he's making it work just juggling it and, and he's not exactly looking for a kill off the top he's looking Ooh. for just that pressure but <laughs> then again at at whatever he was 100% curse. yeah um, up air is definitely going to kill. Yeah, and it's, she just has a very difficult time getting down. Doesn't have very good downward priority. Uh, her down air, while it's not a terrible move, it doesn't really work against uh, up airs generally. Right. Um, so yeah, it's always good to, to keep her up in the air like that, juggling. Uh, we got a very solidly even game here uh, until Bones takes face full of needles. That's like honestly one of the things I hate the most in this game. It's just like getting off the angel platform and immediately taking the entire charge needle set that my opponent just got. It feels terrible. I mean, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world, right? It's only like 16% at, yeah. at most. Yeah, it's just like a mentality thing. I don't know. I don't like the fact that they just like... I know it's not, but it feels like they just got a bunch of free damage, you know? Right. Um, but that's just me. Anyway, getting back to the set, uh, we got very close still. These two are just kind of trading combos, trading center stage, trading a lot of different things. Uh, just going back and forth until Bones gets the kill. Just kind of putting pressure deal. on him on Ooh, these shield wow. drops. Yeah, and that was really good uh, multi-shine well. pressure from Bones. Um... Hatch Bones is not is getting, getting these kill confirms. You know, he's getting straight hits, but Bones is living, and Hat's not getting those follow-ups. Uh, but good back air off of uh, the uh, platform, the cloud, Randall. Uh, yeah, this is, this is really even so far, honestly. Uh, good power show from Hat. Uh, really, I think we're just seeing two players that know each other very well, kind of feeling each other out in the moment, you know, how well are they playing today, what do they like to do right now. Um, Interesting fair from Bones. You don't see approaching fair a lot from space animals. It's a bit of a laggy move. You know, not not extremely, but for spacey standards. It's pretty punishable as well yeah. by, from Sheik. Um, that's what we saw, you know. Got a pretty solid punish from Hat taking the stock there. Uh, I think it's very one of, sorry. It's all good. I think one of the reasons that she, uh, Hat likes the stage so much is that he 
when he gets hit off stage, he has the option to air dodge instead of having to use his up B and, and be in a lot of lag. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Sheik's up B definitely not the best. Um, recovering with Sheik is kind of all about tricking your opponent into either giving you the stage or the ledge for free. You want them to think you're going to the other one, preferably at a different timing. Yeah. Typical bones there. He went for the edge cancel on one of the platforms and almost died for it. You know, two-edged sword having really good tech still. Yeah, yeah, you just got to be very consistent. And Bones is, uh, but nobody can be perfect. Oh, an unfortunate tournament winner from Bones. That's pro Unless he can pull some really crazy... Ooh, just a uh, roll on from Hat. Trying to hard read going to the ledge, but misses it. Um, and definitely giving Bones a second chance at life here. You know, this is a very... Ooh, oh, wow. Spawn him out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Hat just shoves That's him. He's like, get out of speaking my Speaking of things that aren't out. true combos, <laughs> that was pretty out there. But, you know, whatever works, works. If it worked, it was optimal. All right. And going back to Yoshi's, definitely not the traditional counter pick for a Sheik in this matchup. Uh, but like I said, um, this is Hat Hat's most favorite stage. Really? In this yeah. matchup or just overall? It's, it's overall. Hmm. That's and, interesting. You know, it does have its merits, right? Like, if you can get the tech chase, they die out or they roll out in either direction to get that uh, get that dash attack about a 50%. Yep. They're immediately in a lot of danger. And it's also, it's really nice to have a favorite stage that's not normal for your character because people who don't know you, like, say, you know, Hat goes to a national, well, who's going to expect him to want to go to Yoshi's? You know? Nice, nice needle. Uh, just it's to it's really nice for a stage kind of picking. Right. He definitely caught with, uh, me with that today. I played him in round two. And I was not expecting him to like the stage so much in Martha. Oh, Marchi. wow. The very unorthodox down air there. Um, and unfortunately doing the slow get up. But, whew. Wow, this is very close. Very close. Shino stalling from Hat, taking his time to get back on. Uh, it's very, one thing that I want to see more of from Sheik players uh, in general is just taking their time on the ledge. Uh, you know, you have a really good ledge stall option. You don't need to just get up right away. Yeah, you away. actually have multiple. You have the the one that doesn't use poofs. Oh, yeah, the, actually uh, the Sammy faster. stall. Yeah. yeah. Definitely good for catching people who are trying to punish you for Shino stalling. Yep, and it's really nice because you can actually mix up the Shino stalls and the Sammy stalls, you know, because yeah. each, like, uh, you know, grabbing the ledge again, it kind of resets the situation. So you can do half Shino stalls, half Sammy stalls, and try to mix people up that are trying to grab the ledge from you. Ooh, nice fair from Knight. Wow. All right. That was a couple of hard reads in a Ooh. row. Kind of sheiked him, honestly. Uh, but really good stuff from Hat. Uh, taking a solid stock lead. So I was about to say it was pretty even. Um, but honestly, you can tell that these players play each other a lot. They're pretty close in skill, just by how incredibly back and forth this set is. Over and over and over again, switching leads. Uh, really good set to watch. I love good melee. Yeah, and also, uh, they're giving each other a lot of respect on the ledge. Um, he's not going too close Ooh, to the Sheik. Wow. Yep, and the Great shine, shine back here. Pretty good, good DI on it, all things considered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm, you know, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you can smash DI out of the shine back air, actually, um, if you're fast enough with it. But smash DI is never easy. You know, you got to be really on point with your inputs and your reaction times to get good smash DI. Uh, Bone's really good at arms attacking as well. Definitely kept him out of a, a hairy situation just then. Yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> oh, I like the up throw. Kind of forcing him into the tech chase on the platform. Which is definitely a lot easier to get a kill off of. Just a little bit slow on that tech yep. chase with the running shine there. Falco is not exactly the fastest character on the ground. Um, he might seem like it because of how fast his moves are, but uh, that run speed is a little bit to be desired. Oh, and this might be an edge guard, but nope. Hat goes Keep low, it safe. Bones covers Just high. Keep it safe. Yeah. He doesn't want to take too much damage, that being said. Yeah, and it's really hard to, to, you know, hard read a low recovery and go off stage to the space animal. It's so risky. Yeah. Bones, what are you doing? Uh... I've, I think I've a seen time him do that plenty of times. And then there's a time for grand finals. I don't know, but that's just my opinion. So, you know, in his head, I don't even think that was styling. Really? Look, look at him going for the platform cancel again and getting punished for it. Two. Two. Nice, oh, nice wow. check chase nice follow up there. From hats. That's gonna be Barring it. Randall, yeah, there he goes. Yeah. Even it up. So, this is game three, set one. Hats and winners. One more game for Hat.
or a reset for uh, for Bones in yeah. the future. Yeah. I feel like Xanadu tournaments go to resets a lot. The Marth. Okay, cool. The Marth from Hat. See, I this actually makes a lot before. of sense because if you just ban Pokemon, then you're you're gonna go here. I mean, I right? guess, but like, I don't know. Have you seen the Hat Marth? You're not not hating I, or anything, yeah, but I've, I've seen never it. seen it before. I've seen both Plank and Hat Marth. Interesting. Um, well, I guess we'll see how it works. Uh, it's definitely a good stage for Marth. Um, he goes for the Marth killer. That, that being said. You know, what he was trying to do there actually is the double dunk, where he wanted to get the reverse hit of the down air and then down air yeah, him again. He teched it, but he teched it downwards. Though. Yeah, good really, good, really good uh, crouch cancel ASDI tech. Yeah, that actually worked on Obi, but it did not work on Hat. So they definitely played this matchup before. You know, the two of them, not just this matchup in general. Oh, and whiffing the F smash there. See, actually, a pivot tipper actually would have comboed there. Do you know why Bones did an uppy? It's like in the middle of the juggle there. It's um, very interesting maybe just, choice. Maybe just uh, throw him off. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it, was, maybe. it was a panic option for you sure. You know, it's always like anything you can do to trip up somebody when they're comboing you is good. You know, it's a lot better than just taking guaranteed damage. You don't have to. Right. Uh, so maybe sometimes that will work. Who knows? See there, that situation, I think both of them might have grabbed the ledge at the same time, but Falco is important one. And uh, that might have been why Marth died just then. Oh, he just waits for it, grabs him right out of there. Oh, missing uh, the dash missing grabs. The missing yeah. the dash grabs. Uh, miss, uh, Marth missing the, the chain grabs on the stage is actually a pretty bad sign because uh, if you look at just the neutral game, space animals actually have the advantage here. Oh, because nice of stuff. Platforms. It's in the punish game that Marth really, really shines. Nice no stuff. pun intended. <laughs> not doing the full optimization of the double jab. I've definitely gotten burned by not double jabbing, but he did score the kill. Oh, good, and that's going to be the double dunk right there. Good anti Marth killer tech, but he still got double dunked. Because you still have to land somewhere. Yeah, it's true. And on FD, there isn't a whole lot of space for you Ooh. to land. You know, there's no platforms or Always anything. get a little bit nervous when Marth double jumps in this pla on the stage. Because the Marth off the edge with, a, with no double jump is a dead Marth. Yeah, this is true. Oh, a nice power shield from Bones, but misses, um, I would Looking guess, really the, the turnaround that he was probably going for there. Um, and it's a really meaty F smash. It's just good it's, DI. It's a sandbag Whoa. sound, you know? Really good DI on the shield breaker there. Oh, wow. Going for some disgusting uppy shenanigans. Um, oh, okay, and the upper was stuff. down air. It's just Using the, some melee the right angle here. of the down air on the backside to score the kill. Good stuff. Oh, and. Ooh, ooh. no. Slips through. Yeah. Sweet spot. I would say user error. <laughs> yeah, yeah. User error. Definitely. And we got um, last stock scenario here. Um, just based on momentum, I, I honestly think that the player who has the last stock usually has the advantage if it's an otherwise even game. Uh, it's just momentum is such an important thing in melee. Um, and as I say that, of course, Bones he, gets He uh, does a slight DI in, into the, the shine. Oh, gets kind of caught in his movement there. This could be huge. Yep, definitely. Going to get some up air juggles here. And Ooh. misses the tech chase, unfortunately. Even more crucial is if you're missing the tech chases also. Yeah, but, ooh, yeah. This could be it. Oh, wow. Nice That's double where you side double B jab. from Bones. That's, that yeah. is why you double jab, folks. you got to just mash that side B, man. It's so important not to have to up B yeah. below the ledge against Ooh. the Marth. Ooh. Oh, and is this it? He could have ended his life. Oh, no. Why would oh, you S-mash He could have put. He could have pressed down in yeah, A there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he's but still this, in a really good spot. This should be it. It's just uh, down tilts. Okay. Yeah. You don't need no, to go for, for that, so that's a good you know, stuff. Thing, anything nah. that kills is the best move, you know? Yeah. Like, a, even though down tilt might not be as flashy and you might have to back air him, he's still dead. Yeah. So, uh, why not, I don't know right? how many times that I've seen somebody fast fall through a Martha smash and do a full punish. Oh, that was a light. What is... Okay. <laughs> so good stuff to Hat. He's uh, won the yeah. tournament. Yeah, good stuff, Hat. Definitely. It's a... Uh, it's a bit of a small Xanadu this week, you know, post Smash Con, everybody's kind of yeah, just a chill getting Xanadu. all their energy back. But you know what? It was nice. So I, I, I kind of prefer it this way sometimes. You can get a lot of, you know, your own space to play these friendlies. Yeah, it's true, you know. I can basically go to like three open setups right now, and that is not the norm here. It's usually a pretty crowded place. Right. But yeah, we, we even had the two Japanese players, but yeah, if you notice, yeah. that they, they got, I think, Actually, four, I think fifth, and they got seventh. Yeah, um, Zone was the one that got fifth, wasn't it? Uh, actually, or Watch got fifth. Watch got because he was in winter semis. Oh so wow! Who did Watch beat? Uh, 
See, I couldn't tell you. I didn't look at the, yeah. I didn't look at the bracket. Yeah, well, I mean, if he got fifth, he had to beat somebody pretty good. Right. Um, I love seeing, like, I don't know, I wish there was more interaction with the Japanese and the American scenes because um, I feel like there's a lot of Japanese players. Like, you know, I've never heard of Watch before. Never in my life. And he gets right. fifth at the standard. Definitely doesn't get as much exposure, right? Yep, definitely. And also the fact that they uh, they don't play for money when they play. Yeah, well, that's it's actually a lot that's like, makes a, things a lot harder. a part of the problem with the skill pool is, like, people are motivated by reward, you know? Like, if you're playing for money, you're going to be willing to get better, practice more, put more effort into it when you go. Yeah. Um, you also can justify the time more. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You, you see yeah. it in a lot of the Japanese Smash 4 results. You know, every top eight, it feels like there's five incredibly good players that are at, like, 129th place because they're not playing for anything. You know, who really cares? You have to go over to America and see these players. Like, the same people that are getting 100-plus at Japan tournaments are getting, like, top eight at Evo. It's just they try, you know? Right. Well, we hope everybody at home did indeed enjoy Xanadu 163. Um, we will be streaming Street Fighter tomorrow, so definitely stop by. Stream for that goes up at 7.30. Bracket starts at 8. Obviously, every Tuesday we stream Smash 4. Stream for that goes up at 7. Bracket starts at 7.30. And then, obviously, on Wednesdays, 7.30. I mean, 7 for the stream going up, 7.30 for Bracket for Melee. I don't believe we are streaming anything this weekend. Um, so, you know, just that is that. <laughs> All right. It's Shine is next weekend, though. Yeah, it Shine's oh, a weekend that's after be awesome. that. I, know, I think Mango is confirmed for that, I was right? so close, but uh, the hotels in Boston are insanely expensive. Oh, uh, yeah. You got to so, get housing. That's yeah. the big thing. All you got to do is money match your way to happiness, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, they want you 400 a night. All right, man. Who's trying to play me for 20? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Just money match the hotel Especially manager. Especially out of right? region. Just walk up to all the players. They don't know who you are, man. That's the best way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And on that note, we are out. You can let them know where to follow you guys or you. Okay. <laughs> all right. You can follow me. Just follow me, me when I compensate. That's all <laughs> I need. There you go. You can follow me at Charging My B. You can tell me how I did. This is my first time on Xanadu's Deuce, uh, Xana Deuce mic. I've done it a couple times elsewhere. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was awesome, and, guys. Uh, yeah. I will see you around. Peace. <laughs>